live. Welcome everybody to Towers and Gods episode 86. So, Discord's going crazy. Uh, if you're if you're wondering right now, half of the servers that we're in are like down. <laughs> Our server's still standing though. The one where this call is taking place is holding its ground, fighting the good fight. It's had a lot of practice against Discord, you know, given our history with this series. So it's it's trained. It's well versed in the art of Discord. Um, so we're just gonna give it a shot. If there is a part two to this episode, that is probably why. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna give it a shot. Um, stick around. Yes, yeah, just stick around because <laughs> we will be back if things go wrong. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna introduce the cast here. We have Isaiah as Jong. Oh, that was me. Yo, what up, you dang kids? How you doing? Um, I hope you got a nice large glass of eggnog and a can-do spirit, because today, today we're uh, we're hanging out with Team Recall, you know, and they're a crazy bunch of kids. Let's see what they're up to, you know? Let's find out what they're up to. Sounds good. We're gonna go right down to Hannah as Eden. Hello, everybody. Happy future holidays to all of you lovely people. This is our last episode for the year. It'll be totally great. Who knows what could happen? Um, yeah, and I uh, hope you all recovered from last episode. Yeah. It was a bit of a, bit of, bit of a, a rough rough ship, but, uh, you know, part of the ship, part of the crew. Let's go. You know, ships, ships, ships sometimes go down. That's how it goes. I don't know. That's I... what Hugo's dealing with. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting yeah. that the community seems to think so. Uh, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see if that's actually yeah, the case. Yeah, uh, we have Sun Wu as Wu. <laughs> Yo, uh, I'm glad my camera's working because I, I brought my Lonnie fit today. So, yeah. oh, oh wow! Oh, shoot, that's, that's right. One, Make him feel bad, is, uh, son. Make him feel bad. Which one is <laughs> Lonnie again? No, I'm Lala. Lala. It's uh, way too soon. It, yeah. And we have other Joe is Damian Frog. Oh, hey everyone. Uh, if you're having problems on Discord, don't worry. We have the Towers and Gods Skype group that you can join. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a link down below. Uh, this is only if you're a Towers and Gods Plus member, though. And, you know, Ooh. we know how many uh, yeah, of those true, there are, true. you know. Yeah. It's yeah. true. It's so, true. Uh, you know, be sure to join the Skype link down below. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, you know, just in case. <laughs> I'd rather Disclaimer, die. Disclaimer, there is no Skype link down below. I'd rather die, bro. <laughs> I'd rather oh, there is. It's twenty dollars. You know what I would love, dude? Show. Google Hangouts. We could do a Google Hangout. Does that sound good to everybody? How about no. Team Speak? Team oh, Speak. True. Oh, true. Team <laughs> Speak. Let's set, up, let's set up the Google Hangout for sure, and we'll we'll have a new like uh, page that you can all like on Google Buzz. Um, sounds like a plan. Uh, <laughs> and we have Milio says Brack Bronson. Greetings, Earthlings from Zomicron Percy I Eight. We are responsible for taking down your satellite relay, which dealt with your Towers and Gods <laughs> server. Now, we understand that this show is amazing, but last week really stung me. I mean, by golly! <laughs> by golly! You c Yeah, but Earthlings, just know we took down your satellite, and um, it'll be back up later. Once wait, wait. I get over my saltiness. <laughs> Bye-bye. Last person always has to have the most unhinged intro. Let's it's true. go! <laughs> Maybe I should change it up. Uh, oh, boy. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Was not expecting that, but I Have love mercy it. on us, oh, alien overlords. Oh, man. Well, anyway, we are here. Thanks for being here, everybody. If you're here and wondering what is, what's going on, we're doing Tower of God with a little bit of D&D. &D. Not a little bit. This is D&D &D plus Tower of God. And, um, uh, yeah, let's read some super chats before we hop on into the episode. Hold on. Agent in chat says, in my language, Lani kind of means last year. So I guess... That's why she's not making oh. it to next year. <laughs> oh! No. I only read the first half of that, and I thought it was yeah. gonna be like really sweet. Damn, brother. Just is a that, quick is thing that what too. The sub said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a quick reminder too. This is an 18 plus series. We deal with heavy topics and and fun trauma and stuff. Oh I know it's God. a joke now, but I feel like we should bring the disclaimer. It, back, it, so it, the disclaimer <laughs> applies. 18 and up tragedy and trauma and crazy terrible things happen um in viewer discretion show. is advised and you can take your time with the vod if you need to absolutely things happen too. 
It's true. Good things happen. It's too. holiday season, and I know it can be tough on people. So That's I just true. want to make sure you're all okay. We're, we're here for y'all, and uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Camus, uh, thank you for our, our com, com. Wait, hold on. Shoot. Camus. Discord's note or Camus. 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 I. <laughs> Recently told me how to pronounce the name. Canvas, thank you so much for becoming a member again. Uh, Master Gold says, uh, Sonic fact of the week. Sonic is blue because the Sega logo is blue or something. I don't know. I'm still processing 85, to be honest. Hashtag should have been the Duke. <laughs> oh, Master Gold. We All right. Okay. It'll be okay. Hang in there, Gold. Hang in there. I, <laughs> hang in there, Gold. Oh, I know. No. I'm He's sorry. Right, though. He's I'm right. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Gold. Superior yeah. Matt with the super chat. As 2023 wraps up, I just want to point out that you made 150 hours of Towers and Gods this year alone. Oh my gosh. So I hope you all have restful holidays. That is crazy. We could Look have not us. done Towers and Gods this year and played Persona 5 instead. That's wild. Also, keep in oh, mind, we had some of the biggest for, breaks yeah. this year because somebody had to get married or something. L. Congratulations again. Thank you very much. <laughs> but even then, like, we started getting a lot of content, y'all. A lot, lot, awesome. long, lot of long episodes. Uh, that's going to change going forward. No, I'm kidding. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, thank you very much longer, for that. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, Camus says, hey, yo, for the series that was the catalyst for me to begin writing my story to climb the tower, y'all deserve my first super chat ever. Aww. So here it is. Thank you so like, thank much. You. Really appreciate that. And um, Nosferatu also says, I only got into Towers and Gods this year. I'm glad I finally did. 2023 has been tough for me, but the show gave me a great new story that made it better. Thank you all. I hope Aww. you have a restful break. That is so sweet. Thank you so much, Nosferatu. Shout out Yay. to you. That's so cool. Hope you have a good holidays too. Yeah, absolutely. Thank Let's you go. for the generous super chat. Um, Glog, 20 gifted uh, memberships. Thank you for that. Really appreciate you. Also said, as someone who can't always watch the stream, it's the middle of the night. Here is the Victor tribute and have a oh good boy. time, brothers. Okay. Thank you, Glog. Appreciate that. Let's go. And uh, we'll see how that goes today. Mustafa with the super chat will be watching when while finishing a project. Sag, hey, good luck. Good luck hey, with that, Mustafa. That. You got this. You get got it, this. Mustafa. You we'll are a dutiful you. student, and I my yes. hat is off to you, sir. Absolutely. And we'll uh, we'll provide you with that support. Uh, Ninja Run says, to the VOD squad with me is an episode but I'm, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm an episode <laughs> yeah. behind, but wanted to show my support since it's the last episode of 2023. That's so cool. Thank you, Ninja Run. Appreciate that. Holy cow. Y'all have been so generous today. Thank you, Ninja Run. Um, Dart Angel, meme break will have membership roulette. Dart is back with membership roulette. You're you're awesome. Thank you, Dart. Um, ashes to Ashes, the generous super chat. Can't wait to see Victor again. I normally can't watch live. So I'm glad it's the episode Victor returns. Oh my god. That's so cool. Shout out Let's to you. Let's go. Victor, uh, you'll get to experience it. And experience it's in the school glow. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, that's, uh, that's a good it's point. It's him. Well, that's a good point. Uh, Crisis said, time for our weekly... Though, oh, oh, I'm assuming you meant dose of, of Towers and Gods. Best boy is back. It's him. There was a there was a debate in the Discord that was Isaiah. I can't read that message. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I cannot. Discord will not let us read. I can't even access the DMs right now. It's crazy. Uh, I will get to it when Discord figures out the problem. I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, but yeah, experience Victor if it is Victor. There was a debate in the Discord. People, Some people were saying that it should have been Flux and that they were upset and saying that uh, Flux is better than Victor. And then others said Victor was better than Flux. And I just thought that was really funny. So there we go. <laughs> uh, we're almost through. Kaido uh, said, Damien, turn Team Midnight into a fine powder. <gasps> Whoa. Like, how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> yeah. It's true. What 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 possible skill can I have that could do that? I seem to recall you even saying last episode, I could do it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's so team iconic. midnight living. Like, let's so I got it. I want a Dora the Explorer esque thing where it's like, how am I supposed to get rid of the crowd? Do you know how I get rid of the crowd? <laughs> oh, God. Use living bomb. <laughs> this is so that's awesome. Race no. Felger will tell you which skill I get. <laughs> What's that, Race Felger? They're telling living me to bomb. use living bomb? <gasps> living <laughs> okay. bomb? Anyway, Amaterasu <laughs> with the 10 gifted. Thank you so much, Amaterasu. We'll see. I, that's a fun idea. I, I, and, then, and then last but not least, we have Darden who said, Edward Adam wants to tell Eden that he is sorry he fell behind and apologized to Damien for fly fishing. What does that mean? Uh, 
Edward Adam wants to tell Eagle? I think Edward Adam was the person that suggested the fly fishing. Oh! And they all think they've caught up oh, and realized wow. that this happened. <laughs> Got it. Legend, Edward Adam. You affected Damien's character permanently with that one. So. You did. Absolutely. Camus. Even I, I gotta I call Cam. <laughs> I, I gotta call Camus out in chat. He calls. He said, "Damien Heimer." No. <laughs> stop! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! That's all the super chats. Thank you all so much. We're gonna go ahead and get started before Discord oh, decides no. to die. Um, anyone else <laughs> would like to say anything before we begin? Uh, Joe is a daddy human because of his shirt. He's I'm, glitching out. I'm glitching out, bro. <laughs> I guess I am the, the Duke of Bones. That's crazy. Gasp. Yes. Oh, I thought you might have been recording on VHS. <laughs> that also true. Could have, could be. Possibility could be. for sure. Possibility. Anyone else? Any thoughts? I got you, Dard. I bought your uh, shirt or the episode? Or... <laughs> it could be anything. I don't know. <laughs> you, you can talk about my shirt if you want. Your shirt is I, mean, I, I, I do want to say something. It's going to be vague, though, but... Some of y'all's interpretations of Wu's mental space is wrong. Just <gasps> Ooh, put him on notice. Ooh, get him, Wu. Put get him. him. Tell him, Wu. All right, cool. Well, with I'll that, leave you with oh, this yeah. uh, with this this riddle, moral quandary. Take it how you will. Do we live just to die, or do we die because we live? Oh, take that as you will. Oh, dang. Whoa. Interesting. Oh, no. Fake deep, fake deep, fake deep, fake deep. <laughs> I have one, too. Give me a drink and I will die. Feed me and I'll get bigger. What am I? Say it one more time. Give me a drink and I will die. Feed me and I'll get bigger. What am I? A gremlin. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Was that the actual answer? Huh? Was that the uh, actual no. answer? Oh, okay. No, but I like Milius' yeah. answer better than mine answer, so. So that's the, that'll be the answer we go with then. Is it fire? Yeah. Flames? Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good guess. That but is I actually think, a good guess. I think guess. Gremlins is better. <laughs> Gremlins. <laughs> we'll go. Chat. Me over here being like, I got flames, flames, that kind of, that sounds right. Okay, anyway. Well, we're gonna, Joe, do you wanna give us the answer? Is it is Gremlins? We going with Gremlins? We have an episode to do. Our, okay, I, I didn't wanna cut you off. I didn't guys, wanna be guys, rude, don't I'm Joe sorry. You didn't have an answer I'm plan. sorry. Don't make an answer <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice. All right, cool. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the episode. So, last time on Towers and Gods, we got off of the Hell Train. Uh, we were able to succeed in purifying Lucius's team at the cost of Lani, who substituted herself for the Duke. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> that is what we'll say on the matter. Um, and everybody has now left the train. There was a clash with uh, Dusk and Dawn from Team Midnight with their team behind <sighs> them. You know, the the remember top the top D rank regulars awaiting outside of that door, um, alongside Lonzo, Mr. Balloon, and a lot of your you know old rivals from uh, Train City. But with the arrival of some mysterious hooded figures, who uh, were able to give you an opportunity to break away, you were able to escape from the situation, round some corners, enter into the last station, or at least this kind of outward outer exterior area of the last station. And it was revealed that your savior, at least one of your saviors, was none other than what appears to be the boy. Dare I say it? Dare I say his name? Dare I speak or utter his name? Kuhn Victor has arrived. And he's here. He extends his hand to all of you. And that is where we're going to uh, pick up with the episode. Hannah, I can hear, I, just so you can, I can hear, we can hear the typing. Uh, just as I thought I hit mute. No, you're good. Maybe it's, oh, okay. I was like, maybe Discord won't okay. let you mute. <laughs> you know, Dis with all oh, the problems. Okay, I, Discord isn't isn't reading my hotkey to mute. I just, so oh, I just my, tested that. oh my God, okay. Discord. Okay, there we go. All right. Cool. I was trying to double check with chat to make sure they could hear all of us. Cause I was like, mm. that would be a Discord thing where only like one, sound or one or like somebody gets knocked out or right. I was just I was just trying to be I was trying to be conscious I'm sorry no no that's great just making sure just making sure you're all right look at look at look at this man's 
straight out of Final Fantasy. The man's is here. <laughs> and I'm trying to find a thing here. We'll go with something like this. Let he who is alive cast the first stone. <laughs> Man, uh, he was full of, uh, philosophical I know, songs. yeah. <laughs> it's good though because I couldn't, I couldn't find the freaking song that I wanted to play. So we're just gonna play something else. That that works. We'll play something else. Uh, okay. So so yeah, we're picking back up here. Is there any like initial reactions to the the hood falling? And you see you see your old friend underneath. Is there any kind of reaction response from anybody at all? There, it's not just him, but there's a bunch of other cloaked people around right not Is not that... so so currently so currently um it's just you because like he's kind of led you away from the chaos there were other cloaked figures near the train they aren't with you currently though all right there we are go. we still i i seem to remember last week i could be totally wrong but like we were being chased by is it by people was that a thing? yep and so currently you've rounded a few corners right you're you haven't like entered the actual resort of the last station yet you're kind of on what, the outskirts of one of the walls and um yeah currently it's just you and victor you don't know if okay, someone's chasing you we're not oh okay it's okay. kind of unknown at this so, point i would say um, Wu probably has his observer orbiting at this point I would say Jong is also like checking the, you know, like you know, peeking okay. behind the walls and stuff, making sure, yeah, you know, they're they're safe. Another quick question: yeah. Can we still see dusk and dawn falling? Uh, no. The last you saw of them, they were knocked aside. They were they were pushed aside, allowing you to leave the room. Mm. It was a room. I thought they were on the stairs. Never mind. Um, you, just the room of the hell train. Like as soon as the gate, the door opened to the hell train. They were outside the room, the door oh. of the hell train. That's really meant. Yeah, they All were on right, a so big flight of stairs. Above the table, just to confirm, like if you want me to roll up, like yeah. there's no one in like the perimeter. Of Feel us. free to roll. I'll, I'll give you some info um, based on what you're rolling okay. here. Um, should well, I? Could I? Should I roll as well? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Oh, should we first thing so, Brack will do is he'll go over to Victor, and he'll give him a hug. Oh, hey. Hey, man. How's it going? It's been a while. I thought you were dead. You thought I died. You and were he... stoned, weren't you? And he turns and looks at all of you. I would like to slink in as well and join in that hug. He returns the hug to you. Get off me, frog. Look. Get off me, frog. He, he's giving look at you. <laughs> big old hug to everybody. All soft and fleshy again. <laughs> What the? All right, I'm just going to see my way out. Uh, let me. Uh, he was uh, holding was Eden's arm, and he when was. all that happens, she ba she like way back. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm she, sure. She lets that whatever the syndicate reunion is happening. She's just like, nah, no, thank you. And she nah, like, nah, puts nah, her nah, is no parts. <laughs> do you think? Do you think I would have done that if I thought I was going to die? You thought I really would have died in that moment? Yes. Thank you for caring uh, so much about me, Brack. I'm honored that your old roommate holds such a special place in your heart. I rolled a 15, by the way. Why are you making this sad? Uh, for the yeah, for the observer check, I rolled a 17. 17. Okay, so both so essentially, uh, both of you kind of get the same info, and you know you can share the info with each other too. Where um, the general vicinity is safe for now. Um, I will alert you if someone's about to like make an appearance. That was good. <sighs> it does feel good to be out, though. He kind of, like, cracks his neck. <sighs> for me, it's only been about a year. But for all of you, I know, probably a little bit longer than that. <laughs> he kind of just, like, smiles and looks at the ground. What am I supposed to even say in a situation like this? Long time no see. Well, it doesn't look like we're being followed right now. So, you could start with telling us how you got here. Pretty simple. And he kind of, like, touches the brooch at his neck. This isn't what it looks like, I promise. Uh, essentially, once I was freed by father... Oh, I'll handle my cat here in a sec. When I was freed by father, they offered me a proposition. That I'd be able to assist all of you when you got off the train. 
There is one caveat, though. <clears throat> and he kind of, like, scratches the back of his head, clears his throat. I... I've only cleared up to floor 32. I should not be here right now, hence why... And he kind of puts the hood back over his head. I'm undercover. I... I was escorted here by Iseer to assist with your rescue, and that's about that. Let's see. Give me you one sec. You... Feel free to check. So he is at the exact same strength yeah. as he was on the workshop. Not He's technically two floors ahead. Not me about yeah. table. Not necessarily. Yeah, yeah. He's but just. It would be a he has an... I mean, we know he's only cleared up to that floor, but that doesn't yeah. necessarily mean that he's well. There's a problem. That strong. Here. I was gonna ask him about, but we'll see. What's I gotta let Cat Dad deal with matters. <laughs> yeah, son's being wildly. And we're back. We're back. We're good. Sorry about that. He has been yelling so much today. That could have that could have gotten crazy. Anyway, <clears throat> yes, floor thirty-two. However, I am here to assist with your grand escape. I was gonna say after he mentioned the cloak and like the undercover situation. So you realize you don't have a lot of time then, right? Time for what? We should get going. I agree. But before he heads off to lead you all further in a certain direction, he does look at you, Eden, and he smiles at you. He gives you a smirk. What is she? Yeah. She has since pulled her hood up. She like trying to cover her hair, and she just kind of like, just like, quickly like nods at him and is like watching like where we came from to make sure nobody's coming. And she has like one of her, she has her second floor red spear out, and she's uh, on guard. Okay, sounds good. All right, then, everybody. That is woo. <laughs> All right, then, everybody. Follow me. And he runs off, continuing the direction that you were just uh, heading towards after that brief pause and brief reunion. He leads you around a couple more corners, around a couple of more halls. He seems to know the area fairly well. Or maybe he was told about it. And... You'd be able to kind of remember the way you came if you really wanted to think back and maybe make a history check. But um, essentially, he's keeping you outside of the last station, right? There's a couple of, like, buildings that exist outside of it, a couple of, like, um, architectures that exist outside of it, um, you know, pillars and, and extra buildings and walls and such. And um, eventually, he leads you into this dark alley, an alley that leads down some stairs to a door hidden away in the shadows. Woo, make sure we're not being followed if that's cool. And uh, with that Already same on it. Roll, yeah, you, we're good. You would check. Cool, then uh, follow me. He opens up the door, and after he enters, he beckons for the rest of you to follow. But on the way in, uh, Damien, Ryobe uh, taps your shoulder. Who's yes. this guy? Who, do, 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 we, do we trust this guy? He's my friend. How many friends do you have? I have like eight. <laughs> can, can, you, can you name them? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Am I one, am I one of them? Am I one of your eight yeah. friends? Oh, wow. So there's there's Eden, and then there's his best buddy, Jong, and yeah. Brack, yeah. Wu. All right. Yeah. Those ones you know. And then, of course, there's Shion, yeah. and Hugo, and La 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 Lonnie, and of course. The Duke of Bones, and you, and Hans, and... You're, uh, you're ten, brother. <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah. Uh, David, I think you have a <laughs> lot more friends than you think. You're lying. I have, like, quite a few. You're... That's, like, more than my... I am going to run out of hands. That's really awesome. I wish I had that many friends. I mean, what's preventing you from having that many friends? Good question, he says. And he just smiles for a second and then continues walking down I mean, down besides the hall. a bunch of regulars who are just trying to kill each other to, you know, get their their dreams fulfilled and their gains, you know, made. Um, you continue that conversation with, with Ryobe as you continue heading down the hall. But it's less stressful now. Victor has slowed down his pace. It's so weird to say that. Victor, Victor, Victor. Wow. Victor has slowed down the pace. And he's uh, kind of taking his time more as he... Walks further into the darkness. His pocket is up, giving you a little bit of light with a flashlight. Hey, hey Damien, could you uh, do some honors? Do the honors? 
Could use a little more light in here. I would love to, Victor. Happily, I will do this for you. Lighthouse light, activate. Okay, gives you a little bit more light in the room. And the first thing you notice when the light comes on and fills up the space around you, you see a familiar, almost familiar sight. I say almost because there are some differences here. Not familiar as in a good familiar or a bad familiar? That, well, that's up to you. I mean, we'll see. I think it depends it's on the interpretation. person. interpretation. It is. Okay. All right. You see these sleek, not made of like brick or stone, just like this sleek uh, sort of, you know, I, I hesitate to say, but kind of like future, you know, mechanical kind of steps painted over black. They look slick leading upward into a hatch, into a door that kind of opens and closes, very, like, organized, mechanical, workshop-esque. It reminds you of the Xeno on the workshop. However, the design is a little bit different. The door is a rounder shape, and the steps much shorter than the ones you had climbed when you entered that temple. And he turns to look at all of you. Go ahead. Is it like a ship? Yeah, it looks like a. It looks like, a, it looks like of, yeah. That was like you know, I don't know. Thinking of it like in terms of uh, you know uh, Star Wars, is this like a transport of the Xeno kind of deal? That is a. That is a. That impression is strong. <laughs> How would I say that? Like uh, it's strong with the force. Just go with <laughs> yeah, it. Like it's you, okay. That that feeling <laughs> is validated. I don't know. <laughs> what do I say to that? Yeah, like you're you're right. It does give off those vibes, for sure. Hmm. All right, everybody, uh, listen, I, I know you guys don't like ice here that much, but promise you, it's not all of them. It's just a handful, and uh, this is a pretty safe place to be for now. So, yeah. The wind. Cool. And he heads into the ship. Hey, who, 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 there. Who, who's ice here? Hmm? Who's ice here? Oh, that's where my smoking hot girlfriend is from. <laughs> 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 wow! Oh, now you bring up Flock. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting time right before we get to her place. Okay, interesting. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. We got, go ahead. We got receipts strong. We got yeah. other receipts. Nah, there were no cameras on the train, bro. Look, brother, there's a camera up here. We know what you did, bro. All right, remember yeah, that. This official Damien is the Lando Calrissian. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasis on the, the Riz and the Calrissian. <laughs> Uh, his eyes kind of go wide. I don't think I've ever seen her before. Okay, cool. Or met her. I should say met her before. Don't think I've met Aunt, her before. Yeah? Don't you worry. Ryobe, the less questions you ask, the better from this point forward. Got it? And don't you worry, because while you may not see her, she's always watching me, I think. She's not. No. <sighs> Stay away from her if you meet her. <laughs> That's my advice to you. Um, but in a good way. Shoulder and walk away. Duke, Stay away from her in a good way, you know, in, in a polite way. Duke uh, puts a hand on both of their shoulders. Let's listen to them. We'll talk more about this later. Let's go. And uh, he leads the way of the three of them entering the ship alongside everybody else. Shion looks to you, Jong. Should have known all roads lead back to ice here. Well, you can't be surprised. After all, they did just save Victor, and I bet they're just waiting to tell us all about it. Let's be careful not to give them too much credit. It's their monster that caused him to become like that anyway. Thoughts exactly. She heads in. Hugo is silent. Um, and everybody enters the ship. And immediately what you're able to tell, Damien, your hunch was correct. This is not the Xeno. This would be sort of like a, a mini version of the Xeno. Some kind of uh, extension, perhaps, or a pod that is uh, that perhaps has the same aesthetics, the same colors, the same furniture, and, and that kind of thing. But Victor leads you into this main living room kind of area that you can tell takes up most of the space on this miniature ship. And there's a few other side rooms that kind of extend off in different directions, but it's a little more crowded. Like, Brack, you kind of have to, like, hunch down to walk in here. It's uh, not exactly that spacious. There's a few couches, a couple bunk beds, a refrigerator, you know. It's kind of homey, to be honest. Um, 
but but definitely smaller than the Xeno. Victor leads you in. Okay, I don't think I'm the only one here. Uh, we're back. Hello. And there's no response. Shoot, I thought at least someone else would have been here. Uh, yeah, take a seat. Feel free to sit down. We'll wait for them to get back, and then we can. Uh... Do we do we know the someone else? Well, there's a few people that are here that you guys probably know. All right. Okay. I'm I'm betting it's definitely Bool at least. Do you say that out loud? Huh? Well, uh, yeah, sure. Yep, definitely Bool. Must be. Damien's checking up feeling. on his harem. I see how it is. You know, check checkups are good. Checkups are good. Checkups are nice and good. Um, and then uh, when you say that, Victor kind of smiles. Hey, Bool, you hear? And then uh, you hear one of the doors to one of the side rooms open up, and uh, someone walks out. Kind of. Stands there for a minute. New bull art eyeballs? It's good to see you all again. Welcome aboard. And Bool uh, takes a look at all of you and smiles. Ooh. He put a shirt on. Let's go. I don't believe it. He closed his shirt. <laughs> Who said this show didn't have character development? Come on. Come Correction, on. Milios. He bought a shirt and then closed it. You right, you right. I think, I think, I think. Uh, what was her name? Monica? Not Monica. What? Maggie? Was it Maggie? Maggie? I can't remember her yeah, name. Yeah, Maggie. Yeah, but yeah, she 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 embarrassed him that day. She was like, "Nah, you ugly," and he was like, "Oh, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> cover wow. up." No. <laughs> you think that's the that reason? Was his first <laughs> obstacle as a character, and he overcame it. Look, Probably. modesty is attractive. You know, I mean, he's just trying trying a new look, trying a new fit. Um, uh, Does anyone voice I've... any of these thoughts out loud? Just to, you know, crazy? No, any... of course not. <laughs> <laughs> nah. no. I voice every single thing. Yeah, that, thank you. No. I, I, thank you. <laughs> wow, Damien Dotson, first thing. That's crazy. All right. Uh, can I approach this this dude? Yeah, of course. We're just going to like walk straight up to him. Uh, I assume how tall is Bull? He's pretty tall. Um, I would, I would say... Six four. You said he's six. Yeah. Yeah, I would assume that he's taller than them. Yeah. So we like kind of like looks at up him like dead in his eyes, and then just extends his hand. Sorry for hitting you. <laughs> I didn't even remember that. And he holds out a hand to shake yours. What's I'm not gonna want to hit you again. <laughs> I think about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all I mean to say is that what's done is done. I don't like to hold grudges. Fair enough. Behind us. Jong, Eden, Brack, Damien, it's good to see all of you. How have you been? Well, I am glad that you have made a full recovery. <laughs> he smiles. Full recovery is maybe a bit extreme. He kind of like taps his chest. <clears throat> Got to keep that flame going, you know? But I'm alive. So that's good. Alive is good. Hate to say goodbye after everything that that's happened. Couldn't agree more. Hey, Bull. She's not here, is she? <sighs> he clears his and throat. kind of like looks over at Hugo as well. <sighs> she assisted in what happened at the last station, but she won't be making an appearance here today. Uh, Wu slightly clutches his fist, but then sighs. Good. For the best. I even think she put on her necklace today, isn't that right? Yeah, she did. But not like it matters. Take a seat. Make yourself at home. And uh, I'm under the impression there is one other person. There's actually a couple others that are here. Oh yeah. Hmm. And then his eyes. He kind of has this realization. I'm sorry, Damien. Flux isn't here. Ah. Man. I'm sorry. No, okay. Well, you know, that's fine. 
I mean, I, I took up fly fishing and I caught this fish, but it's fine. Whatever. It's... You want fish? Cool. Uh, not really. I'm, I'm good. Oh, you know what? I think the fish was might have been data, so I don't think it actually carried over. He gives you a weird look. We definitely have a lot to talk about. Flux yes. is uh, traveling with Soul right now. Bickering, like... Newlyweds. I don't know. But they, uh, I guess that's the wrong word. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. You know what, you know what Damien? It's a rat. It's a rat, brother. You might have to go ahead and get yourself a penny it was brother. It's all good. It's uh, all good. I couldn't think of a good siblings, analogy, siblings, bro. Siblings, Joseph. Siblings. I meant to say, like, an elderly couple. That's what I was trying to say. Like, an elderly couple. Bickering like an elderly couple. And I want to say, me and Amy are having a great, you know, no problems. I just want to make that very clear. All right. Our newlywed life has been great. I just want to make that very clear up front. <laughs> Making sure. The <laughs> All the ships sink, even the real ones. Dang. Just so you guys know, it's cool if married people fight. Okay? It happens. It does happen. Life. It's healthy. You just work through it together. You know? Amy and Chat's like, ahem. <laughs> I meant to say elderly couple. I don't know. We're gonna move on. We just we retcon that, and it was elderly couple, right? <laughs> they're just, they're, yeah. they're bickering like uh, like old friends do. Like how old though? Well, they've been rivals ever since Flux gained her body. I'm gonna send an array of worrying texts to Flux. Give me one moment. <laughs> what are you so what are you an, concerned an, about, Damien? An, unhe an unhealthy amount. Damien, what are you concerned about? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right. So it's just a, you know, that's handsome tough, buddy. That's young real tough. man. Yeah, that's real tough. That's nuts. That's crazy. All that flirting, where did it get you? Mm -hmm. Crazy. That's nuts. It's, it's, but, you know, you got other prospects. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know? They hate each other. They they hate each other. For sure. That's how it starts. <laughs> Sorry, so the, the thing you wanted to, to tell us about, though. Right. I forgot the reason I even brought this up. Um, Flux and Soul are on a mission. They are investigating some highly dangerous individuals from Jihad's army. We'll leave it at that for now. Which ones? Longinus. They're investigating the... Squadron commander of the first squadron of Jihad's army. No big deal, right? I'm sure they'll be fine. He's not somebody you trifle with. He's got dreamer powers like uh, Brack does. They didn't know that. That's one of the reasons they're there. Okay. But they'll be fine. All to according you. to the old man's plan, huh? All according to the old man's plan. Speaking of which, he couldn't make it today. That's like my real father. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. There, there. there. <laughs> <laughs> he said he had to uh, make up for lost time. So, yeah. He's a cool guy, though. I had a couple chats with him. He, he's cool, you know. He's a quote-unquote cool guy, said Coon yeah. Victor. He did save my life, so I gotta give him some props. Anyway, guys, make yourself at home. We've got drinks in the fridge. We've got food. We got, I mean, it's leftovers, but it's better than nothing, right? I mean, is pretty good at cooking. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll chat about things when the rest of them get back. What was that name he said? Above table? Above table? I mean... It sounded like doll yet, and I was like, wait a minute. It said doll air, but uh, that's what I heard. I couldn't make it up. He said doll era. Dal which, era. now that I'm saying it out loud, it definitely sounds like Dahlia. We're going to ride with it, though. Okay. <laughs> I was like, did he just casually just say, oh, yeah, Dahlia's oh, yeah, back. Dahlia's back. Yeah, no, no, he's back. We're chilling. We're chilling. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, Kyrie's in the game room. Like, it's true. We're just hanging out. <laughs> I was just, okay, I was just making sure what I heard was that mm -hmm. 
That'd be the biggest twist of like, it's like, oh, that internal strife at Ice here? Yeah, we got that settled. It's cool now. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Everything's fine. Oh, yeah, Leaf's here too. No, okay, that's, too, oh, sorry, that's too far. That's too far. Uh, Leaf is here. I can leave. <laughs> it's fine. Um, no. Snacks in the fridge, you say? Snacks in the fridge, help yourself. You wouldn't have to have a kitchen, would you? We do, yeah. Uh, it's like a small right. little thing, and he walks over and like pulls out like a, you know, he hits a couple buttons, and there's like a little mini kitchen that pops up out of the wall. Mmm, and then how, how, well, what are the quality of the ingredients? They look pretty nice. They look pretty nice. All right, nice. I'm cooking. I'm cooking today. Thanks, Damien. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> well, that is happening. Uh... <laughs> Well, it's, there's an implication that the others will be arriving soon. Is there anything that you all want to do during this time? I want to talk to Bull privately. Yeah. Uh, I would like to talk to Eden privately. Sure. There's a chance to do that. Uh, Bull kind of nods to you, Wu, and you two kind of go into one of the side rooms. And you notice some, it's like a couple bunks. This looks like where a couple of the members of Ice here uh, sleep. Pretty simple room. No windows. So. <coughs> he coughs. What's happened since we last talked, but... Now I think of it, we never really did talk, did we? I wouldn't say you and I have a... crazy deep relationship, at least... currently. He looks at you again. Uh, here we go. Let's just gloss over that, shall we? I just want to know a couple things. And then I think we could be cool going forward. If you promise to answer my questions, honestly. And I'm assuming there's things you can't tell me. So if that's the case, just let me know that you can't tell me because you can't and not that you're choosing not to. Go on. What does Icy want with Mirth? Above the table, as a DM, I forget why Wu knows that. How does Wu know that? I actually don't remember either. Does Wu know I that? Do I don't know if he does, but I know. So I think you know. I think I might have. I think I might have conflated. Maybe, but maybe. I can't. I can't recall. You. 100%. <laughs> so we were already away from Ace when Ace and Starman talked about finding somebody named Mirth. So that is above the table knowledge. Okay, okay. From the but we were, Sorry. It wasn't an instance where we were all together. Fair? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, we just didn't hear it. Like, um... We were already on the hell... You were, we on were the already train. on the hell train when that conversation... It was, was a scene with Ace. Happened. It was like an Ace POV kind of thing. I see. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, fine. Let's, let's retcon that. Uh, <laughs> sure, sure. That was like 50% sure. of the reason for the conversation. <laughs> I figured <laughs> it's fine, you know. Just a little bit of a checkup, but, you know. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, the second thing that I need to ask this man, um, going forward... What is it that you really want from us, exactly? Want from all of you? You expect things to just proceed in a fashion where we comply with everything? You don't have to comply if you don't wish to. I do think it's in your best interests to allow us to help you. Allow Father to help you. And that's where I'm lost. What help is it that you think that I need from you? Do you have any dreams, Will? Only the kind that I can see to fruition myself. Rescuing Leaf? That's not a dream. That's a necessity. Then Something rephrase... that will happen. I'll rephrase my question. You have goals. Yes? Sure. Goals that you believe you could achieve without our help, right? Absolutely. There are 
reasons father brought you in to Aesir. You can call them selfish. You can call them trying to further his own goals. And maybe you'd be right. But you are all also highly dangerous individuals that will require protection at some point during your climb. It might not be now, but after the workshop battle, after what happened at the last station just now, after all the stories that are being cooked up about Team Recall, we're really the only thing standing in the way. If one of the great families decides they're interested. I, before I met any of you, a great family was already interested and still is. My question is, everything that you just mentioned was carefully orchestrated by Father's design to drive us to this very point where, yes, we may indeed need to rely on his protection now. But I'm not here to argue about that not you that's doing this and I know a lot of things you've said are genuine so I just want to know one thing from you where do you stand in all of this what is your dream what do you want my dream I want to burn the Yon family to the ground And you don't want to share your reasons for that right now, I'm assuming. Nah, not particularly. I will okay. say that after joining Aesir, if I never fulfill that goal, I think I'd still be happy. I found something that means something to you. I did. To the people around you. He kind of looks at you again, remembering who he's talking to. I'm really not trying to hurt you in any way. But Percy, Fluxfog, and Smile, they're my family. And he kind of like looks away. I, if I'm being honest, I probably care more about them than father's wishes. And then Wu kind of grabs him and taps him on the shoulder with a heavy embrace. And that's why we'll get along just fine. I'm glad you can at least see my perspective. Anyway, from now on, let's just proceed with this dynamic, shall we? Don't lie to me. Don't play games with me. Just tell me what is and isn't, and if you can or can. Okay. Okay. Oh, shakes his head. Thank you. And, uh, I meant what I said. She won't be appearing today. Oh, I know you meant it. Quite a little bit of a new ability. You did. You remember, since we can trust each other, right? And Wu kind of looks at, like, looks at up at him endearingly. And you can tell, like, part of it is just Wu, like, being eager to, like, share, like, his progress with somebody that doesn't, that would understand. You remember the liquor I used to drink from the court? You know, had some unique properties. And some of it seems to have stuck with me and my abilities. I don't know if it's what my master intended, but my ability to detect lies is getting better. And if I'm being truthful, that's part of the reason for this conversation. 
wanted to test it out a bit. <laughs> Interesting. Good luck with that. Being able to tell truth from lies might be the most important skill one could have. It just sucks that it relies on these monkeys. Speaking of which, I'll get some rest, Bull. Take care. Before we do the Jong and Eden, Victor walks over to you, Damien. You're cooking, cooking up a storm. Chop, chop, chop. What you making? Ah, yes. I'm glad you asked. I am making an alpine charcuterie with various meats and cheeses from the tower. That'll be the appetizer. I uh, haven't thought of a main course yet. Oh, huh. I see. Thinking of a... Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe like a schnitzel with uh, black forest ham and cheese and uh, with pan fried potatoes and red cabbage with rice. Um, it's a lot yeah. of things. It's a lot. Oh, I mean, but, uh, I'll try it. Hey, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. I mean, you know, it sounds like it's uh, pretty impressive, but it's, have you, you been know, cooking for everybody uh, in the past few years? Huh? Oh, uh, you know, I've just been doing my thing. Okay. Just nice. seeing if things stick. If I enjoy it, well, I will keep eating it. And if okay. I don't, well, I'll stop. Nice. It is a very interesting thing, food. I mean, of course, but it is interesting how much food there is in the world. Shiona, There's a lot to try. while you're talking about that, she walks up to Victor. Ask him about the durian pie. Hmm? Oh, you made some pie. Shoot! Yeah, it won. It won an award. It was crazy. <laughs> That's it, uh, impressive. Didn't kill, yeah, it didn't kill people like the other one, so I ended up winning by default. I'm proud of you, man. It slaps you on the back. Proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I am just that good at cooking. Hey, man. I. He looks over. He sees that Jong and Eden have kind of like gone into one of the side rooms. Ha. Hmm? He, he sounds like he's going to ask about one of them. How is my little bro? Your little bro is the leader of the team. <laughs> All right. Actually, how is he? I am not joking. You're serious? It's uh, completely true. How hard is he flunking? I'm sure you... I'm sure... I'm sure... I'm sure... He's working through some issues, as we all do when we first take hold of the mantle of leadership. How's he doing? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we all work through our issues, but, um, I mean, overall, I think he's doing pretty good. I mean, of course, there are things we can all improve on, but, I mean, all in all, I think, uh, you know, we've, we've, we've had some good results in the past. So you're saying the son of Kuhn makes for a good leader. I, uh, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, as an individual, he has grown into the role of a leader in a uh, particularly good way. And Shion, you can attest to this? And she turns around. Yeah. It's been good. Well, I'll have to congratulate him later. Cool. Just wanted to kind of do a checkup on the team and, uh, yeah. Bracken Eden, I assume things are good with them too. You know. Um, yeah, you know, things uh, yeah. could be better. Okay. Um, okay. Like how? It might be best for you to talk mm. to them about that kind of stuff than hear it from a second hand like me. You see I don't know if things can ever go back to the way they were. Oh yeah. I mean why should they, right? Change is good. It is. In a lot of ways. But it feels like you've all lived through a lifetime. Well, for me, it was the blink of an eye. He like, looks around I the mean, room. it's only been like, uh, you know, uh, what? how long has it been again? Xion? I'm Xion. not really good with the whole sense of time Xion thing. checks her document. She, Xion opens up her uh, going, imaginary She's going down the schedule. She's, ten she's years. flipping through the pages. Not, uh, nine years, yeah. Not, not, not ten years since. Yeah. Damn. Uh, He's nine years on that train? No, That's two ten, years. Two years on the train. Yeah, yeah before ten since we've seen Victor. between the workshop and. Yeah. I think it's been seven since you because it was like um, 
it was seven and a half yeah and it's then nine years the, seven years was the time skip and then two yeah, years for the, for the two years so for the exactly. but we yeah, had an extra years. five months in between uh woo's purification and i'm counting getting off the train that. oh i think i should have pushed it I to think 10. agreed to call it 10 though when we discussed okay this yeah that makes it should have pushed it to okay, 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah victor so what every what all of them interjected is uh yeah that's, that's how long it's been um i wasn't there for all of them uh as you know do i i was you uh, doing workshop i was gonna say you're you look better without the collar. Yeah, well, I mean, th that collar really wasn't that bad. It was really just looked a lot worse than it actually was. It was really as a means for me to stay with the team, but not go on to the next floor. Hmm, I see. And so you stay with the workshop. And his eyes go yeah. wide. Th that makes sense. <laughs> you should probably know something. Um, huh? Some of your friends will be showing up here. Oh, really? They also helped us with that whole fiasco. Wow. That's wild. I didn't know they knew you I... specifically, but that makes sense. They said you they were here mean... to help a friend. That can't be... That can't be Simon and Robin, could it? I didn't catch their names. Oh, man. Well, they, they made really good time. That is that is absolutely wild. That's the workshop crazy. has resources that we can't fathom, huh? Especially they have since a pretty big array of things, but the division that I'm part of is uh they, they're severely underfunded. I mean Well you can ask him for yourself. Kind of deal. Ask him for yourself. Maybe there's a reason. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to show up, I guess they'll have a ton of questions. But, you know, I've been at the workshop, and uh, it has really been quite an experience working with them for the last uh, while. And you no longer have well, your honestly. scissors. Huh? No, it's, it's, it's that's what this is. My gauntlet. That Those are your scissors? Yeah. We, uh, you know, we figured a stronger... Uh, attachment if it was closer to me would make for a more uh, efficient uh, weapon i'll miss those old things shakes his head well i mean they're not gone they're uh well i guess you'll see i won't but... see anytime soon considering you all are way ahead of my climb now that's okay though you know I mean, all it takes is a little bit of a montage, and you know, you can you can you know get to a level that is, uh, you know, close but not as great as the Great Damien. Club. I would love it. Hey, if that was possible, sign me up. We'll we'll see if, if we can make that work. A proper a workshop regiment, which you know is available, if you want to take it. I have to step away real quick. I can't type it in chat. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. No worries. Isn't the workshop regiment pricey though? Like. Not anybody can just get that. Did, is this actual Wu or? No, Wu's not even here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, Victor, Victor can look into that, but he kind of just. Let's see your question, Ghost Wu. <laughs> yes, it would be rather pricey, but <laughs> you show enough promise, you might be asked to help join their academy. Like I would say that I don't want to be affiliated with, affiliated with Workshop, but I guess he kind of like tugs at his brooch. Guess I'm kind of ice here affiliated just for a, just for the time being. I mean, as soon as I get the chance, I'm getting the hell out of here. But, you know, got to pay them back for the favor they owe me, I guess. Or that I owe them. Well, I mean, in a way, we were kind of working it off. So, I mean, unless they specifically ask, I wouldn't consider yourself having a debt. I appreciate that. We were the ones working to uh make sure you got out so i mean don't no need to thank us because i mean the way i remember that whole situation you kind of took the attack that was meant for me and brack is that what it was i didn't even remember well i mean i remember very specifically curie had grabbed me and brack and was gonna do whatever they were gonna do when you uh had blocked the attack. 
I knew so, uh, that it wasn't lethal. That's why I skipped in. I mean, that's... Okay, yeah. If you didn't know it was... If, if, yeah, if it wasn't lethal, then yeah, okay. Well, I guess what I want to say really is thanks for doing that. But, yeah. Like I said, it was the blink of an eye for me. Barely any kind of consequence. Totally cool. I'm honestly relieved that you are still you. I'll never change. He winks. Come come here, Victor. Come here, David. Come here, Shion. Shion come does not. Come here, all of you. Shion stays seated in her couch. Shion, you better join this group hug right now. <laughs> uh, I gotta go find Jong. Talk about uh, teamwork plans. Oh, oh, it's so good to see you, Victor. Oh, I'm crying all over you. <laughs> It's good to see you too, man. I see, I see you have really oh, changed tears all over your yep. really cape, which I approve of, by the way. You sure <laughs> are. Uh, yeah. Workshop wouldn't let me have a cape because it wasn't part of the uniform. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, you know, because it's a uniform kind of deal. <laughs> but still, I wanted a cape. There, 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 there. We'll get you a cape suit, okay, ma'am? Yeah, okay. Hang in there. That would be great. Yeah, I got you. All You've right. got cool symbols on here. Do those symbols mean anything? It's the Icyr symbol. Wait, really? Like the four, or you know, like a bunch of triangles? Sure is. Oh. Wow. And these outfits were designed by Glorfin. So, yeah, it's oh. new uh, outfits oh. that all the pawns wear now. They wow. looked terrible before. These are at least, they have some kind of style. So thank God it was kind of an eyesore, if I'm being honest. So so you're identifying yourself as a pawn? Kind mm -mm. Of By having that uh, no, I'm not. I, as I said, I am undercover. I am no one's pawn. I, I am Kuhn Victor. I do what I want. And I am simply wearing this because I didn't have any other clothing options, to be honest. And they are Dude. covering for me until I complete my climb and catch up to all of you. But Victor, and I get really close and put my fingers on his lips. <laughs> Don't you want to be my pawn? Depends hey, on yo, what you like... mean. <laughs> 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 if we... <laughs> Say yes. You do realize that there are cameras here and Flux checks them religiously. Flex understands the kind of person I am. <laughs> she, accepts, she accepts you for who you are. And I accept her for who she is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, so if she was out there flirting with Soul right now, that's cool, right? I mean, you know, it's, it's like a you know, different, kind of different, you know. <laughs> of course, I, I shouldn't have presumed to uh, understand your relationship with her and the dynamic that you two have with one another. But I will say, it's good to see you, man. It is good to see you, too. Now, help me chop veggies. I'd be happy to. Give me a knife. Yes, Give me a cleaver. Slice cheese. Slice the it. cheese into nice little squares. You got it. We need, to, we need to fit it all on a charcuterie board. Charcuterie? Whatever, however they say it. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Shark, shark cut board. <laughs> um, Come, Victor. A food a feast we must make. Victor assists you with the food. There's just a quick thing where Hugo is going to look over to you, Brack, and just give you a look. How's Brack? What's Brack doing? What's going on, Big H? I'm really officially one of you now, huh? Caught up in these, another one of these ships. Breck just puts a hand on Big H's shoulder. <clears throat> I considered you one of us the second we got out of that cave. You can't. He can't help but have a little smile when you say that. No. What about? He hmm? looks at you. What about? Taki. 
Taki is a special case, you see. And Brack then pulls out like his cigar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lays back on the wall. Now you see, Taki is a very dear friend, a brother, if you will. But he's also a subordinate of the Glorious Syndicate. Now, we fired him as well, but <laughs> we're we're willing to accept him back after the performance he's had recently. I forgot about that. <laughs> Not for anything monetary. I mind you, he did terrible with the bets, but we may have work for him later on down the line. It's been a while since I've thought about him. Maybe I should reach out. I think you should, Big H. If it's on your mind, it's always good to check on a friend. Friend, yeah. You don't consider him a friend, Big H? I do. And I think that's pretty interesting. Well, if you think it's interesting, then that's good. I think it's interesting because when I first met him, I thought he'd be the first to go in that cave. God, Dad, you just got real morbid, didn't you? Well, I can understand why you would think that, but he was under my personal protection. I thought he now, was while... just... <laughs> I'll talk. But he's yeah. proved time and time again that he isn't. So, yeah. He is a friend. I don't think the bunny is all talk. I mean, sure, he might have long ears, the disposition of, you know, a victim, but I don't think he's all talk. I mean, did you not see his fight with the big ball? That's what I'm saying, that he isn't all talk. He's, he's proven that he... His heart is very big. Uh, my bad, Big H. I misheard you. It, it gets like that sometimes in these old ages. But um, you definitely should give him a call. Let him know that uh, Brack said hello. I don't ever want to forget. I don't never want to forget. I don't want to forget that we all are responsible for our destinies. And I think for me, even just checking in with an old friend, if that can make a difference, I might as well. Proud of you, Big H. All right, Jong and Eden, you get you enter one of these kind of side rooms to get away from the main group, I assume. I mean, Eden, do you do you kind of you're cool with Jong having a combo? Yeah, I, I mean, she'll she'll see that he wants to talk and just sure. call him. All right, take it away, Jong. Oh, sorry. I thought Discord was not going to let me unmute. <laughs> so. And he kind of turns back towards the room where, you know, the team and Victor and all of them are. What's your read? Something doesn't feel right. But when it comes to ice here, that's kind of normal. That's fair. Last I heard about Bull is that he was still down, but it's good to see him back up again. Yeah. Feels like he's kind of putting on a front, though. I don't think he's as well as he's making himself out to be. 
As long as they're good enough to serve, right? As long as we're good enough to serve. I don't know what to make of Victor. I wasn't... I wasn't ready to see him yet. Yeah, I gathered as much. Listen, this is... This is probably going to get more complicated before it gets any easier. I know. But, uh... I do want to help Victor. But I don't know... I hope that's him. He seems strangely pro ICR all of a sudden. Now, granted, they did heal him, so I guess he does owe, feel like he might owe them, but... He no, called him Father. Be... He didn't say Tearseth, he said Father. Yeah. Also, that new snazzy outfit of his looks, uh... handpicked. Mm-hmm. And, Jong, you see something, like, flash over her eyes, like, when he talks about the outfit, and she'll kind of shake herself and look back at Jong. Like... In her eyes, you mean? Mm-hmm. Everything okay? He's uh, honestly kind of hard to look at like that. I, uh... At the end of my purification, and wherever I was, I saw Nari and Farlin. He's almost wearing exactly what Farlin was wearing in it. It took me... I... that... That was a, uh... A crossover I wasn't expecting. So it just kind of rattled me. Sure. Makes sense. It just seems like the higher we climb, the more ice here gets tangled up in our lives and the people we know. I think we're at their mercy at this point. They were the ones that helped me between or when I left. I was honestly trying to run away to stop climbing. I was done. They sent uh, Glorfin and Gabriel after me, but I evaded him for six months. I figure that's a pretty good feat. But they helped me. I ended up climbing with Percy and Smile at one point, too. Hmm. They tried to keep me appraised on Victor's situation, but it was always like, oh, we're working on it. And then you, never, <laughs> you don't see any progress. So that's why I'm just kind of surprised. As slow as they were going previously, I figured that yeah. We wouldn't see Victor for a very, very long time. Well, Especially after we saw that vision in the bubble. Where they're wiping out a whole fort full of people. Seemed like Tearseth's mind was in different places. We are getting pretty close to finding Leaf, I think. I see it wants to remind us exactly how much leverage they have over us. It's a smart play, to be honest. I agree. But it's one I think we can use. How so? Well, I think you're right that up until now, we've kind of just been running around in Icy's cage, playing their game by their rules. A little defiant, sure, but nothing they haven't anticipated, nothing they couldn't adapt to. So, the only way we beat them is by not playing the game. We have to get off the board do things they don't anticipate until we can find out exactly where Tearset's head is at. And the few conversations I had with him when I was gone, I don't think we'll ever know that. Even if we do play off the board in some capacity. They have eyes and ears so sure. everywhere. Exactly. Look, I just... It seems... Victor is all but joined Ice here at this point. They've got Ace. I'm sure if we bring Leaf back, she'll be under their thumb too. 
We're not getting away as much as they say we have the choice, so... It might Maybe. be more advantageous to play the game and gather what information we can and... try to make well, it break ourselves. My idea still involves it making it look like we're playing the game. Victor... Hell, even Damien. I think it'll be good to have people that are really close to Aesir. You prepared to use them for our own gains? Prepared to use them to get the hell away from Aesir. For good. And if they don't come with? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Still should prepare yourself, though. This tower grows stranger by the day. <laughs> Truest truth that's ever been spoken. <laughs> She'll pull up in her inventory. You, you ready for this back yet, or no? She'll point at the sword in her inventory. And Jong, for a second, when he goes to reach up for the sword, he goes to reach up with his left hand, but then he pauses and grabs it with his other hand. Yeah. All Thanks right. for holding on to it. No problem. I seem to hold on to a lot of your discarded weapons. <laughs> yeah, well... We really probably should get rid of those other ones. This, uh... And he kind of, like, pulls the sword out a little bit, just enough so that he can see the blade. As he just kind of looks at it. This one... This will do. Um, I would say this is around the time. Go ahead. Please do. Please, please do. Slappy. I also have a quick thing, but it's very quick. <clears throat> Jong. Don't let that sword define you. Just because you've done badly with it. When you didn't have a choice and you were surviving. Let other things pave a new path for you. Don't get stuck on one path. We saw what one path mindsets lead to. And she looks at Jong like she's, she's trying to convey that it was Lonnie. Don't do that. It's true that I've done a lot of bad things with this sword, and most of them didn't really have a say. But some things I did. Everybody gets what's coming to them eventually. Just don't want to run from mine anymore. Not anymore. And she'll she'll hug him like very tightly. He'll kind of he tense up for a minute, but then he kind of relaxes and returns the hug. I don't want to see you die. Find a new path. And forgive yourself. This is presumptive of me to say, but Luca wouldn't want you to be like that. And I don't want you to be like that. And you just can't help yourself trying to help me, huh? It's one of the things I like about you. It's the only thing I can do. I just figured I... needed to talk to you before it was too late. Like with Lonnie. And Nari. And everyone else. And... 
I don't know how to help you with that. That's something I can't even wrap my mind around, but... If you need me to hold the sword again, I can. No. Uh, honestly. And he kind of turns the sword over again in his hand, looking at it. Feels the most comfortable it's ever felt. Eden, what happened with Nari and Lonnie? What happens to me? You can't put that on you. I know that you want to help people. And I know you see, you saw things in them and in me that maybe we don't see in ourselves, but At some point, Lonnie's decisions were hers, Nari's decision. My decision. I still have a job to do. And I'm not going anywhere until that job's done. But Just make sure you live after. Sorry, Eden, but... I don't want to lie to you. Then I'll prepare to lose you, too. And she'll take her arms off of him and kind of walk away. So, uh, when you re-enter the main room, you see that... Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. I wanted, to, I wanted to do something really quickly. Go ahead. It'll be quick, I promise. Uh, I just wanted to see if it was possible if, like, when Wu is leaving his conversation with Bull, if he could, like, talk to Victor really quickly. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, you see he's next to Damien, cooking up something. He's whistling. Hey, Wu! Sorry, brother. Didn't really get a chance to get in. I was on edge. And he goes and gives Victor a hug. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> Sorry I didn't get a chance to really say hi to you personally. You good? It feels great to be able to move my body. Let's just say that. I bet. And then, like, Wu starts, like, poking around at him. Like, not stiff uh, anywhere, are we? You know, my joints could use a little bit of fluid, a little bit of, uh, workout. It's only been about a year, but they're getting there, you know what I mean? They're getting there. And I see you got some nice new threads. Everybody's been commenting on this is just a temporary outfit change. You, you know, I'm going back to the Coon Victor look as soon as I can. I do need to be under. We all know you can pull off anything, man. Thank you. It's just... Eh, doesn't seem like something you would pick. Yeah. <laughs> You've got that right. Especially... And Wu kind of like encroaches on him and tries to touch the brooch. Yeah, it's not what it looks like, all right? I hear. And then, see, see, I knew you'd be you'd be getting after me about this, okay? This is not at all indicative of my allegiances. Oh, I never said that. Not the... Good, good. Victor. We're on the same page. Maybe. <laughs> we're buddies. We are. We're, we're such... <laughs> we're brothers. We're brothers, right? Well, I just, you know, I would pick something less tacky. And Wu says it with, like, a very, like, stern voice at the end. That's great. You've been gone for so long. Haven't met the newest addition to the family. I was going to ask. Pixie. Oh, he <laughs> And you see, like, Pixie crawl you... out of... <laughs> when you said newest member, he turns and looks at Duke. 
And then he looks back at you when he's uh... <laughs> no, Dang. she's much more important than Duke as far as introductions go, bro. I'm sorry. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't think it was that guy anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> Say hello to Uncle Victor. I'm honored. And he like puts Pixie in his hands. Well, hello there. That this is a cute pig. And he kind of kind of like cradles. Is it? You know. And then Pixie kind of like snuggles his face up to him. Aww. Now, he may whine a little bit, but he's normally okay. Just keep him with you at all times. Make sure he doesn't run away and he'll be good. I need to get some sleep and he just like oh, walks uh, off. Oh, this is my job. Oh, understood. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> you know, I thank you. Okay. <laughs> just you and me and damien you notice that victor is now preoccupied and is not able to help quite as much but you know he he's like one-handed with pigs uh pigsy and he's still cooking is that the iberic is that the iberico ham that we're supposed to <laughs> stay away <laughs> stay away all right, Damien, I need you to take a deep breath. I, 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 need you to relax. <laughs> I know you're trying to turn into a villain, but I need you to relax. <laughs> He's back pig, on his bro. home turf. He's feeling some sort of way. <laughs> Not Pigsy, bro. Not Pigsy. Um, and while this is happening, everyone kind of, you know, enters the room. But then the main door opens up. Oh, they're back. Welcome back, everybody. And people enter the room. Some people enter the room. One of them is Glorfin. With art, I'm guessing. One of them is somebody that you will have to find out after the break. So we'll see you after the meme reel. Enjoy the memes. Boo! Enjoy the fan art. Boo! <laughs> it's not boo. We already saw boo. Come on. We no, I said boo. I know. I know. I, I know. Kiss. I, boo. I'll boo. be boo. your boo. Boo's already here. Why yeah. is everyone saying boo? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Come on now. We'll be back soon, and uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Leave a like before we we, we go, you know, and then we'll be back. All right, see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Bye-bye. Bye.
Welcome back, everybody, oh. to Towers and Gods. We are here. We are live. We are back. Thank you for being patient with us. Thank you so much to everybody who submitted to uh, the meme reel with all the, especially fan art. There was a ton of fan art this week, so shout out to everybody for that. That's really, really cool, and uh, appreciate you submitting. It was a great re week for fan art and memes, and uh, over the holiday break, you know, we're going to be off for a few weeks, so this is the time if you want to submit stuff that you've been working on or you want to create a piece or whatever else and then we'll feature everything that's been submitted over the break on our return episode so um yeah thanks for being here leave a like on the stream and let's get started let's do it let's for go. another five hours where were we at again before we took the break we were oh, you were oh. you were cooking uh yes you were cooking my and all the activities. folks were. Is that all you need, or do you need more? I mean, people. The door had opened up. Some people were about to enter, and we're gonna find out who they are. Victor is welcoming them back into the room. I think it's safe to say everyone's kind of. The, the, this pod is so small that you know when when somebody enters, you know you can kind of you hear the door opening, and 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 like people can kind of all understand that some newcomers are about to arrive. So, yeah. Okay, newcomers. Reveal yourselves. Some Tell people me. enter the room. It looks like there's a few people. They're all kind of in hoods. They're all kind of keeping their identity hidden. And they... I, uh... I remember who my bet was. Oh, you had a bet. Interesting. Oh, well, not a bet. I just, I'm assuming it's glorifying with art. The first person the... to take off their hood is somebody you've never seen before. It looks like a very old man. Um, and he's wearing the same kind of pawn outfit that Victor is currently wearing. He's got a bit nice full gray beard and a bald head, and he just nods and kind of walks Santa into Claus. the room. <laughs> it's that holiday season, bro. Santa joined Dice here. Oh, boy. Oh, cheese wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that holiday oh. cheer. Um, the next person to enter the room and, uh, and, and take off their hood and sheath their sword is Glorfin. Glorfin. There's no art. I'm sorry. Maybe next time. Wow. There's no. I'm sorry. The boy gets shafted again. Listen, listen. We have. It's he's the, the stylish in, one. The we need. We have time. Time. <laughs> People look good. He's behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Glorfin will get there. Okay. We'll get there. But uh, he enters the room, sheaths his sword. Um, he does look at you, Eden, and uh, nod to you. Yeah, she. She, she was, like, in the process of taking her jacket and her hood off, and she ties mm. it around her waist. So there, the art's cohesive now. Ta-da! Let's go! Okay. <laughs> and then uh, the next person to enter, it's actually two different people, and they're not wearing the traditional kind of pawn, icier outfits. Damien, you see two familiar faces. I don't have art for them either. There's I'm just warning everybody. I don't want to get people's hopes up. But you do see Simon and Robin enter. Oh, okay. Robin kind of has to duck her head as they enter, and Simon runs over to you. You're okay! Hello. Yeah, of course I am. And you're okay, too. <laughs> Did you expect anything different? Well, I mean, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. How about you? Robin, like, pats your shoulder and, like, there's, like, a heavy hand that just, cover, you know, that kind of weighs down. You're okay. I sure am. Did you have any doubt? Team Bloodstorm. Come on, you don't have to be like you can you can say you, you did have doubts, but I mean that's fine. You know, my my feelings won't be hurt. I had faith in you and then Robin says, Simon thought you were gonna die. I did not hey, I did there not we go. No, 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 because I had a lot riding on you surviving that, so um actually I'm glad you did. We can talk about that later. We no, have. I'm glad I survived too, Simon. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I did. I'm glad. I'm glad. And, and I, uh... With a little help from my friends. Oops, wrong screen. All right, come on. There's one more. There's one more reveal, Joe. Come on. They look at each other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on, buddy. And Robin like holds open her cloak. And you hear. <gasps> A little ribbit, a little ribbit, as Grace oh hops up onto your shoulder. What happened to his arm? I don't want to... Don't feel bad. Uh, Simon's kind of like struggling to find words. 
This is a brave little guy that you have here. It's a brave little dude. At Train City, we were fighting um, those two individuals after you entered into that tower, that elevator. The less we know about that, the better. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and um and Robin looks down at him and kind of like pats his head very very gently he saved my life oh did you save a life Rice Velger oh you... he's hopping up and right. down alright well guess what because I have learned quite a few things on the hell train I'm going to make you a very special feast there's one more thing Damien Yes, I'm pouring popcorn kernels into a frying pan. He almost, he almost died. Oh, well, almost isn't dying. He lost his arm. But, I thought he was gone. But he held on, and I was able to put this little thing back on him, and uh, he seems happier than ever now that he has it. Are you telling me that Hreisfelger, a frog, now has a robot arm? It's not a robot arm. It is simply a reattachment of his limb. That is artificial? It, it is. And he seems very happy. And you notice that Hreis is like hopping on your mechanical arm? It's not really mechanical. No. He's hopping on your gauntlet. I All mean... Right. All right. All right, Hreisfelger. <laughs> All right. If you can do what I think you can do, do it right now. Rocket punch. <laughs> Grace, like, hops up. <laughs> do you want to roll for this, or just do you just tell like, Grace Vulgar to do this? Uh, you know, Grace Vulgar, rocket punch, you know, and <laughs> Grace Vulgar can, you know, see how it goes. You can roll for it. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will do. Will do. Grace, like, winds up for a second and then falls flat in his face. Okay, we'll get Your we'll dice get... are cursed, dude. We're gonna get there. <laughs> but then Grace, like, as he's getting back up, he kind of, like, twitches his arm and, like, a little blade, like, flips up the top of it. Whoa! <laughs> Flips out of the encasing around his arm. It's like a All tiny right. little okay. blade. Some little a little frog here watched the cyberpunk trailer. <laughs> <laughs> or Assassin's Creed, one of the two. Fake Knife 2.0, baby. I hope you don't mind if we made some modifications. I mean, Race Vilger is is the one who would, you know, would be the one that minds, really. So Race Vilger is his own frog. It's true, it's true. Do you, do you like this augmentation, buddy? He he uh, hops up and down and uh, grabs some popcorn and hands it to you. You are even, you are gonna go even beyond frog. You are gonna be the evolution of frog kind. I've left it very modifiable. What the future is gonna look like. So any modifications you wanna make can be done, but he's still getting used to it. And then uh, someone walks up behind you, uh, Damien. It is Duke. And he looks at Race Belger. So you're the little shit, huh? The one that saw he these. Is and he, like, holds up his hand. You don't see anything come out of his fingertips, but then Race, like, hops onto these, like, invisible... He's just hopping along in the air. Yeah, he's got some good eyesight, that's for sure. And he puts his hands back in his pockets. All right. Do you, you want to... You want to do more, Duke? Like what? You want to introduce yourself? <sighs> he like looks around. I'll wait till the others get in. Make a grand announcement. The last person to enter the room. A shorter individual. You see Percy. <sighs> okay. Looks like everyone's here. And he like hits a lever on the door, and it shuts. And these, like, iron bars cover the, uh, the door. And he turns iron around bars. and looks at everybody in the room. 
that's just the aesthetic, right? We're not actually locked <laughs> in, right? We're right, Percy. If I hit that button again, it'll unlock. Very cool. Hey, everyone. Um, Percy. Here, Percy here. Oh. Hello, little young man. I. Uh... Eden will smile and nod at Glorf and, and Percy as she lights a cigarette and leans up against the wall. Hey, Percy. You said if you hit that button it, again, it'll unlock. If I hit that button right now, it'll unlock too, right? He nods. Good to see you, kid. Good to see you too, Wu. <laughs> um, how have you been? He just like turns his his gaze downwards and doesn't say anything. Well, well, well. The gang's all here. Why don't we all sit around? Damien and I's meal is almost prepared. And Percy says, yeah, um, we were able to fend off that team that was trying to attack you as you were exiting the train. I don't know what that was really all about, but some of them are being questioned by some people from the last station, but others got away. But we were able to come back here, no problem, and escape the gaze of any problems at the last station. I guess we should all probably introduce ourselves. Um, you may already know me. My name is Percy. I'm the number seven knight of Aesir. It's good to see everybody. Um, and he, like, motions over, and Bool's back in the room, and, you know, everybody kind of starts introducing uh, can I, themselves. Can I translate everything for the Duke? Be like, all right, so I see here's this organization, all right, headed by this one dude, yeah. right, who's, like, the brother of the guy who heads the workshop, yeah. okay? And yeah. This is the seventh night. And yeah. Let, let, like, What's I'm explaining night? it to him, okay. you know, as, okay. it, as it goes on. Sure, sure. Can Eden roll perception on Bool to see if he's, like, actually doing better or not? Oh, sure. You can do that while he's, like, introducing himself. Hello, everyone. Number five, Knight of Icyr. The Ashen, Bool, Yan Bool. Good to see you. He just like gives a small smile. And the old man walks forward. Greetings, everyone. You can call me Old Fish. It's like Goldfish without the G. And he smiles this like toothless smile to everybody. Ha, huh. Class classic Old Fish, says Percy. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and uh, Glorfin, Glorfin, Glorfin walks forward. Glorfin, pawn. And he walks back. That's Glorfin. He's a pawn. He's also. He's a raise. <laughs> Glorfin is going to walk over to you, Eden. Uh, may I? And he like motions to your hair. What's up? He starts like touching it. Hmm. The die didn't last long, huh? Ah, I mean, it lasted long enough. I assume you don't want any more? I'm thinking about it. Hmm. I have other colors, too. We have blue, gold, <laughs> green. We got enough blue hair here, I think. Very true. I was gonna... Never mind. I think some of us uh -huh, are you were thinking it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, you, it was gonna uh -huh. be nice, though. Like, I... I this is completely meta game. We're gonna we're not gonna say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see a out of his chair. <laughs> I'm sorry, I saw someone in the chat say the gramps that smiles back. <laughs> <laughs> With what teeth though? With what teeth? <laughs> <laughs> oh that shit's good though. <laughs> she'll 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 give Glorfin a smile and pat him on the shoulder. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, he kind of, like, you know, looks at her. We'll have to get you a new shampoo, though. <laughs> I don't know if shampoo's gonna save it. And then, uh, everyone starts to kind of sit down. I don't know about everybody else, but I want to know who that is. And he points at Duke. Oh, I would be happy to... Duke, like, holds up a hand. I'm... He pauses. Duke of Bones. Leader of a gang in Train City. Probably heard of me. He smiles. You can tell it's kind of forced, but he smiles. 
And I also have that information that you all were looking for. I assume they're, they know this, Damien? Do they know about the, the stuff that you were trying to find on the train? Oh, um, yes. We I did... stepped out of the room, sorry. Oh, you're good. Just for one second. But yes is the answer. We do. And that's actually, I'm glad you're here. Um, he looks at you, Eden. Do you all... Did you find what you were looking for on the hell train? What kind of question is that? You're not serious, Percy. What? It's not that I don't have any no faith in all there. of you. What? You had no idea what we might find on the train? You were looking for the information that would help you get Leaf back. What? I'm confused. Why, why is that a problem? I was making sure you found it. You thought we came back here empty-handed? No, that's... I, I didn't want to sound as if I didn't have faith in all of you. I just... I'm sorry. Did we find it? The information? Yes, Damien, it's in your gauntlet. <laughs> uh, this is the sass from the second floor when y'all were in the tunnels that I missed. <laughs> I wasn't like above. I wasn't giving this information like above the table. I don't. <laughs> Can I like speed read this information? Well, to, to so here's basic. Okay, you were given this info, it, it, but but um, Duke motions as if like he 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 has the info too. Like it's not like he'd lost the information that he gave you. Yeah, he's so. a, he's, he's 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 the living guy. breathing version of it basically. So. Uh. Uh, I assume if you're talking about information about traveling between planes, then I can help a little bit with that, at least. I, I used to... And he pauses. I have information about a guy who used to study this kind of thing. He, Percy looks around as if, like, is what he's saying true? In a lot of Percy. Well, that's great. You seem to be well-versed in it. If you and I could maybe try to figure it out and understand it, maybe we can figure out our next course of action. Okay, um, so what's, what's the information? It's information that I know, Joe, but I, I wasn't informed before. No, you're right. Well, I essentially, I, I worded it in a way that was just kind of like last episode. I... It's it's um data, right? Like data that uh, you, Damien Frog, would kind of have to pour over for a little while. Um, if you want to, Percy and Duke are gonna try to go over that data. If you want to join in, okay. you could. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, you know, we'll just let them we'll, we'll let them do their thing because I don't do I, I don't okay. know anything above tables, so sure, okay. And Percy asks Duke questions like, "How long until we think we can kind of figure out a solution from it?" And they they decide that by the morning they'll have kind of like a course of action. And so they've decided that they're going to spend the rest of that day um, going over it. But then Duke kind of looks around. I'm only doing this because of the debt that I owe this team. I don't know exactly who all of you are, and once I help with this, I'm gone. Fair. I don't want any creepy, creepy weirdos following me. He looks at the old man, who just gives a toothy grin back at him. Oh, no. Who's just going to go to Duke and tell, and you. tell him straight? He's just going to be like, I'll make sure that nobody follows you after this. You should be able to do whatever you want. That's very kind. Appreciate your help, mate. It's the least I can do after everything that's happened. There's a couple things I actually wanted to... If it was... I mean, I know you're kind of... Every, you know, it's it's kind of maybe a bad time because you all just got off the train and, like, there's just, just kind of a lot happening. And so, like, if we don't have to... Actually, we shouldn't talk about it now. Um, if you all want, um, we have a we have a connection to the uh, resort. Um, we can get... And, and then a portal appears in front of all of you <laughs> next to Percy. And somebody walks out of it. Ian immediately grabs a spear and gets a defensive stance.
stance because she's like, I know what these portals are about. There you <laughs> we had bad, we had bad experiences last time when this happened. So Bulls just like... reflexively does yep, that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Kyrie that walks out of it. And once again, no art. I'm just throwing. It. Listen, okay. Uh, but an individual does walk out of it. We can get you into the VIP section, is what we're trying to say. And uh, it's a guy with these bright blue eyes, kind of shaggy black hair, and he has a top hat that he takes off and holds in front of him. And along with the, one of those classic, classic magician's rods, black with like the white tip. Have we met before? I don't think we've ever all met together like this. Um, Percy says, everyone, this is, this is Zygus, number six knight of ice here. And he like, he gives a bow. He shoots him like a death look from Mount Caustica for him sassing her <laughs> when she was trying to help with Ace and Starman. So where's Ace? <laughs> right away, uh, we're, we're hopping right into things. Uh, I would be happy to talk about Ace at some point, but I think I want to make I want to make sure everybody knows we have a reserved reserved tickets for you to enter the VIP section of the last station where you can enjoy some of the festivities and uh, some of the nice things that are offered there. There's a spa, a massage parlor, they've got video games, they've got bowling, they've got a pool. <laughs> wow. They had to have right. bowling for pool. <laughs> can we do these all at the same time? Yeah, I was thinking if all of you wanted, I'd give you your tickets now and you could head over there whenever you wanted. So you're saying I can get a massage in a pool while playing video games? Sure. That is VIP. Let's not spoil Damn, them Victor. too much, I guess. Victor, do you believe, can you believe this? Well, you can go bowling. You'll be fine. I would love to go with everybody. This is the perfect chance he gets up. We haven't seen each other in, I don't, I, you know, a decade, right? Let's go. Let's go hit the pool. Let's go enjoy a spa massage together. They got food? Damien, they have food. We don't even have to finish this. Like, they have food inside the I resort. Like, yeah, you know, let's just throw all this food in the trash. It was probably going to be bad anyways, you know? <laughs> no. I think the Alpine shark cutty would have been, been bad. Shark but <laughs> Shark cutty. As well as the, uh, you know... The code on blue schnitzel. I mean, what was I thinking? That just sounds terrible. I want to. I want to try it. Can I try it, Damien? I mean, yeah. I would. Let's eat and let food. things settle outside before we go anywhere first. And then Zygus tells Percy, "I'll keep an eye outside." And then he bows to everybody and then walks back through his portal. What about Bull? Like very just business. Turns to Bull. Can we kill him? I mean, I wouldn't mind. I don't you love the guy but he's an asshole <sighs> ah, and you see her like old fish finish says, her I, cigarette I, I, I. she finishes well, <laughs> she finishes her cigarette in one more drag and then lights another one <laughs> well great i rather like his magic shows they're quite fun all right old man relax <laughs> yeah he's he's you know he's kind of dangling my best friend's life in his hands just for funsies Ooh. You can you can go get magic shows anywhere in the tower, dude. Like you see, like a fire come out of Eden that you hadn't seen for a while. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I guess if we're all unless... here, go ahead, Damien. I won't be impressed unless you can guess the card I'm thinking in my head. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um. But yeah. Uh, so, uh, mm, uh. Yeah. So we're all. Um. Uh, I I guess we can continue our conversation conversation in, in here then. What do you need to brief us on? Something else to talk about? Yeah, kind of. But we can talk about it later. Like, th th there's no rush, right? It's it's not... You just got here. I don't want to kind of overload you all with too much information. Father's not here. He said... And Bull says, I already told him. Don't worry. Right, he has to make up for lost time. And, um... um, um Victor isn't lost time. That's him fixing his mistake. Agreed. But you're just kind of like, yep. <laughs> slap him. Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> she still doesn't look at Victor, though. Okay, yep. As a point of reference. Absolutely. Uh, Damien, She's just so you know. finished with a second cigarette. <laughs> Great. <laughs> just so you know, Damien, Flux isn't here. Uh, I just want to make sure you knew that. 
You already knew that, Percy. Oh, sorry. Are you just gonna repeat everything Bull said? Percy? I didn't know what. I don't know what Bull said. I'll try not to though. It's okay. Some slack, John. I have a psychic sense. He's nervous. I, I, I don't know why. John, do you have fire powers now? Jong now he like shoots Percy like a death glare. I uh, Eden looks straight at Jong like excuse me. <laughs> I mean um, like I said, cut him some slack. He's nervous. Well, the slack's gone now. He just like shakes his head like. I always say the worst thing. Well, I mean, I think we should all take them up on the offer. Could use some rest and. Victor, who's still like one hand cradling uh, Pigsy. Hey, Damien, how much longer till the food's ready? Hmm? What? Oh, I, 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 I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm already kind of liking the prospect of eating DVDs while getting a massage. Right, right. We should probably, you know, finish up what we started here, though. Damien, just serve the food, please. It's not ready. How much longer do you think till it's ready, Davian? <laughs> Make up the number, it doesn't really matter. The spa. <laughs> the spa. We, we... <laughs> but I, but oh. I wanted to try it. Video games. Bull said, all right, every... okay, I can't believe it. Let's just listen to Percy and Damien. Maybe next time. Go ahead, Percy. Charcuterie Purse. doesn't need to be cooked. <laughs> uh, it's very confused. <laughs> I think you mean shark cutty, but you know, common mistake. Okay. Percy, do you have a flask of alcohol anywhere in this ship? Oh uh, man, the first thing he does is look straight to Old Fish, who immediately scurries off. Oh God! <laughs> he scurries off, and in like five seconds, he returns with like a whole. A whole bar in a his whole arms. Thing, yeah. <laughs> which, 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 which do you prefer? Is there a certain kind of specification that you prefer? You got, you oh. got a high proof bourbon. Pour Yo, me someone needs to have a talk with old fish because that's not <laughs> right. <laughs> as he, so, as he does that, you see like one of the bottles just kind of slides from like underneath. <laughs> like, like, oh no! <laughs> and you see. It, uh, Iwazaru run up to him with it in his hands and hand it to him. <laughs> of course. And we just puts it in his cloak and he's like, good job. <laughs> Eden will take a cigarette and a thing of bourbon and walk it over to the Duke, seeing how not great he's doing, and just kind of walk back to where she was. Thanks, Aki. And when he no says problem. that, Glorfin looks at you. So you did go by Gabriel's name. He whispers to you. I did. Made more sense with the hair, though. All right, everybody. <laughs> There's something I want to talk about. All right. I'm ready. I'm focused. It's this new... Your next mission is rescuing Leaf, right? And with this new information, hopefully that's going to become a possibility. You all survived the Hell Train, which... I understand was probably not a great experience. Um, it was probably quite difficult. And, you know, everybody kind of quiets down. So, I, I took it upon myself to come up with a way without us... Well, I guess it is kind of us meddling now that I think about it. We're still meddling. But I'm doing it so that we don't have to meddle in the or future. Say it straight out. I don't want to have to meddle, so I did this so it can prevent me from meddling more than I already did. I've been talking to Team Stexa and Team Blessing. I don't want to hide that from you. At all. We already know that. We talked to Cal and Mount Caustica. Oh, you did? Well, that makes it easier for me then. I'm putting together... Uh, uh, he like blushes. Uh, a strike force. The the uh, the alliance. That's all you could come up with, Percy. 
it wasn't my name. It was Starman's name. Starman told me to call him. You know what? Oh my God! You listened to Starman about I, I, this? I didn't know what else to to call it. Do you, do you have a better name? What the hell is the Alliance? It's the strongest teams in the tower working together to help each other climb and help fulfill each other's goals. You going off huh? reservation, Percy? Reservation? What do Father's you mean? domain? What do you mean? It sounds like it sounds like uh, a side plot you're cooking up. Father was okay with it. I asked his permission. Oh, so Father knows. Nothing you see, happens. Eden kind of like go <laughs> gray. Oh, She's oh. just like, oh no. <laughs> Nothing happens Father without knows. Father you say so. Don't even yeah. get. Don't. Let's not. I, of course, I asked his permission, but more than that. They were very eager to help. I, I talked to Stexa and I talked to Sil Young, and it seems <clears throat> like they want to contribute. So the Duke of Bones, that's a really cool name, by the way. The Duke of Bones and I are going to be talking later, <laughs> talking later and once we figure out a game plan, the Alliance will be there to help. First of all, I have terms, and the first one on the agenda is that we don't call it that. <laughs> Agreed. Do, do do we want to give it a new name? We can talk about them after you and Duke figure out what you want to do, but let's just... Yeah. Go team. <laughs> Loosen up, kid. <laughs> I, I will I will just, like, till it's, like, the lid of his hat down. That was the main thing I wanted to discuss. Duke, could we, uh, could we chat? Sure, kid. Hope you don't mind if I bring my, my boys with me. He, like, motions back to Hans and Ryobe. <laughs> and they, like, wave. <laughs> I'm Hans. <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> I'm Ryobe. <laughs> oh, thing one, thing two, we love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking joking. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, sure, I'd be. I, that sounds great. Uh, shall we? Any points over to one of the rooms? You all enjoy the resort. Zygus will tell you maybe when it's the go ahead. Oh, okay. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. I want to hear more about right, your adventures first. later. All right. Our adventures. Resort though. time. Did you hear that? Woo? We called them our adventures. You're never going to cut him any slack, huh? Just don't cut him down, okay? Speaking no of promises. that, what was that about fire, John? Oh my god. I'm gonna kill that guy. You're not stealing from Eden's domain, are you? Anyway, before we all relax and everything, I just want to say there's been some stuff going on with me and it's helped to rely on you guys, so Thanks. Who are you talking to? All of Team Recall that's present I see. in the room. You sound really tired, man. I mean, more tired than usual. I haven't given myself a chance to rest. Didn't think I deserved it, but it's not the case. Well, sounds like you can get some rest at this hotel resort thing that's set up. I could go with okay. a bit of a relaxation, says Shion. <sighs> Damien, are you... Genuine question, are you fin are, like, did we, did we scrap the meal? Is the meal... This is not even Shion. What, 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 what's the deal with Damien? What's going on with the meal? I want to make sure I understand. Just waiting outside of Zygus's portal. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I want to go. I want to have fun. <laughs> he has not reappeared. <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, Eden will pat. Let's go. Uh, go ahead, Eden. No, Eden just pats Wu on the shoulder after he said what he said. No, uh, I'm with you, Wu. We went through a lot in those 
two, three years. For a, it wasn't even, didn't even feel like three years considering we were in the mirror, but in a way, it feels like we've all, we've all learned something, for better or worse, about each other, and I for one hopes that it can bring, I for one hope that it can bring us together and not further apart. Hope it already has. And then as Wu gets up, he whispers to you, keep an eye on Victor with the brooch. Mm, I'll leave that to you guys. Didn't want to keep it from you, but I'm on it. Simon's going to pull you aside for a second, Damien. They've, they've kind of been lurking in the background, but he pulls you aside. There's one more thing you should know. I, oh, yeah. Damien Frog, am in uh, trouble with my dad. Oh. But he's such a sweet man. When he gets angry, it's not it's not pretty. Um, basically... I may or may not have needed him to pull a few strings to get us to catch up with you so soon. And, yeah, he's not thrilled. So, just letting you know. If he's a little grouchy, next time you see him, that might be why. Oh, well, I mean, I can give him a call later today. May I be, maybe, you know? Sure. After my uh, poolside rest. I mean, I'm curious, too, about how far... I mean, how is it? He, like, looks at the gauntlet. Well, I mean... It seems to be performing well. I haven't had any major problems with it. Nice. Glad to hear it. Anyways, R&R, &R, you good to go? I'd love to join you. I... I'm just sorry about what happened to Race. Race Felger, does this bother you at all? Race is eating the scraps of what you were cooking. A very brave frog he is. <laughs> we roll for his indigestion, you know. He's hanging in there. He doesn't usually eat anything outside of popcorn. I'm telling you, man, he's getting braver. Like that that frog, he's he's a brave little dude. He's uh very different from before. I believe that. Well, I am curious as to see how he will do. Yeah. When we go head to head in video games. Price looks excited. <laughs> His robot arm isn't like doesn't give him increased reflexes or anything, right? <laughs> if anything it might slow him down good 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 then Jeez. the playing field is even damn, <laughs> damn. <laughs> after a not very long someone a foot comes out of the portal and lands back into the room Zygus here the magician some call me the trickster others call me coast is clear you're all good to get your VIP passes. And he holds out like a swath of tickets to everybody. Come on, Will come on, only one at a time. Woo, you hear under Eden's breath. More like the bitch. Woo, <laughs> <laughs> like, is unable to, like, he tries to stifle his laughter, but you can't really hold it. Woo. Come one, come all, get your ticket and enter the, the resort of a lifetime. You can just walk through my portal and you'll be, you'll be in the, you'll, you'll be ready to receive the perfect relaxation. Before you go, though, I... You. He points at you, Wu. You want to see a magic trick, huh? I would like to see my friend. <laughs> you think I'm responsible oh, can't. for what's <laughs> happening with your friend? I'm sorry? I just know you what can get that? me to her and you... I just know you can get me to her and no, you no, no, can no, get no. her. No, 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 no. Did you want to do that again? You did like a little me, me, me thing. I, me, me, I thought it was a, okay. <laughs> that was a 
with Eden doing that. She's so petty right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is weird. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through the portal. <laughs> See, Damien, yeah, you walk through the portal. Simon Let's and just... Robin follow behind. Let's just go. Please. Hey, I'd be happy to talk about it later. Right now, enjoy your relaxation. I'm not going to be relaxed until I know if my friend's okay, but hey, you know, whatever, Zygus. He smiles. She flips him off. And goes to the <laughs> as we, like all as the way we, through, like, leaves her arm out as far this as the last as thing can. that enters through the portal. Nice, nice. Yeah, we like walk through the portal. He's like, you're lucky she didn't kill you. <laughs> okay, you walk through. Uh, Shion and Hugo get up and start to enter as well. Shion looks over at you, Jong, as if are you coming too? Uh, yeah, I'll be there in a sec. I'll be right behind you. Okay. And uh, Hugo looks to you, Brack. Cause you have you've said like one thing this whole episode. I'm sorry. I feel kind of bad. I feel like I feel bad. It's been like over two hours. <laughs> nah, you good. Uh, you go ahead, Big H. I'll be there in a second. He doesn't go. He stays. I'll wait for you. It's okay, Big H. I, I just need a moment, real quick. It, it, it take like like thirty seconds. I'll just be here. He sits on the couch. Ah. Damn it. All right, Big H, let's go. Come on. You said you wanted to do something. I... Don't, 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 don't worry about it. I can go. It's fine. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The moment's ruined. Let's go. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> And they both, okay, great. And we'll never know. We'll never know what that was gonna be about. Okay, cool. <laughs> and Brock's head, um, uh, eight slips through the cracks, and he just says, "They'll all betray you, just like they did me." And Brock just hears it as he goes through the portal. And when you all enter, the vibes are fun. Nothing but fun. You can tell that the area you're arriving in is not just the last station. I mean, come on, right? This is the VIP section of the last station. There's not that many people around. And when you are kind of looking back and forth, you're on the ground floor of what appears to be an indoor water park. There's a massive slide, a pool that resides at the end of the slide, and off in the corridors you see that there are these signs pointing to two different styles of restaurant, depending on what kind of food you want to eat, whether it's all you can eat or whether it's more high dining. There's two different styles there for you, and there's also a nearby stairwell, an elevator towards different destinations. And there's a lady who walks forward, and she gives a little bow. Welcome to the last station, regulars. Is there anything I can get for, you, for all of you? Where are we staying? Uh, and then Shion whispers, uh, apparently, if we wanted to, we... <sighs> Bull said it'd be safer on the pod. He did? He, that's what he told me before we left. I thought we got VIP tickets. We... And then uh, Victor says, that's to get access to all of this. We could stay here too. Uh, in fact, I would like my room key, please. Uh, what's her name? Kun. And he stops. Actually, I don't want my room key. Change my mind. I'm actually... He turns around and starts walking away. Uh, have fun, guys. And he just, like, walks out of the room. Why are you saying that so suspiciously, Coon Victor? For all the rest of you, is there any information you would like out of me? No, if... we'll figure it out on ourselves. Be on your way. Oh, I... I was Seems like, what the God. fuck is going we, on? Who is follow following Victor? Like, Brack just whispers to Victor, yeah, yeah, go back to the 32nd floor. <laughs> Can I, can I get the map info? Can I get the map? Yeah, so assume. you're able I to be- I love being at copyright infringement land. <laughs> you're, you're provided with a map of copyright infringement land. And uh, it tells you that, yeah, ground floor is the restaurants and the indoor water park. The second floor mm -hmm. is a where the private spas are located. 
the massage parlors, and the barber. The third floor is where the bowling, uh, sports, video games, and arcade are located. The fourth floor is lodgings. Lodgings. And there is also oh, a my. basement floor, which contains a bar, dance floor, karaoke, theater, and movie theater. I'll provide that info in the chat in case you want to find out where you want to go. Uh, hostess. Mm-hmm. May I be given the quickest location to, um... Alcohol, right? I... I'd be happy to help you. It's right this way, sir. No, 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 no. See, let me finish. Oh, most regulars who get off the hell train, that's their first destination. Go ahead. And that is why they fail. Now, <laughs> what I want is food. Uh, you're in luck. This is the floor for you. We have our all-you-can-eat buffet this way, and we have high dining this way. I will warn you, high dining does require that we uh, give you a tailored suit, uh, and you will have to abide by certain manners once you enter the restaurant. What, what do you mean by certain manners? Like... Are we talking understanding utensil wear We're, or... Indeed we are. We're talking about uh, those silly little things do we I do. Do I have to keep my elbows up indeed and I have you to will. my food <laughs> like this? And you will also mm. have to not raise your voice. Um, and you will have to uh, mm. indeed you know, wear one of our tailored What if someone suits? is being <laughs> annoying and they just so happen to spill oh. some wine on my nice fine suit? Could I yell at them then? Uh, um, we that would be discouraged. If you did, we'd have to um, take action. We would be the ones that would help you and get you a new suit and take care of it. Would you. I be able to direct the action taken? <laughs> like, let's say a person does something fumbly or bumbly, we decide to just, you know, remove a finger. Or kick them down a flight of stairs. I mean, the action would have to be, you know... <laughs> What properly was... justified. <laughs> what was your name, Man. regular? <laughs> Frack, you know uh, about this. My name is Cal Silvers of no! Team Stetsa. <laughs> and Brack just walks over to the other dining area. <laughs> Enjoy your dining. Are you going to the buffet? Yes. Yeah. Right. Wait, Brack, can, I, can, can we come with you? We don't really know much about this stuff, so I think having you there would be a good guide for us to, for, for how do we behave. You need me for the fine dining. You don't need me for a buffet. Just don't eat DVDs. Oh. Oh, you're off. going to the buffet. Oh, okay. Uh, we can just tag along, right? Follow after him. I mean, sure. Yeah, okay. Let's see how it goes. Okay, okay. So Damien... I'm a little bit hungry myself. Brack. You know, qual quantity Brack. over quality after all, you know. You all start heading to the buffet. Um, meanwhile, right. everyone else... Oh. I, I was going to oh, ask, yeah. like, what what are the options that we have there? You know, do we Dude. got some bean, bean bop? Do we got some uh, bagogi? What, what, what we got? We got Dude. some Opie Bam steaks. This like... is the last station VIP treatment. Whatever you can know, dream like, of, it's there. What about, like, the, what about I want like, the, the utensils fattest, <laughs> the biggest 42-ounce Mopey Bam steak that I can get. I want three of them. <laughs> okay, excellent. Go That's ahead. That's a scary do. big snake. <laughs> like, what? What like? I what mean, the quality of the napkins. Like, are they, they like paper this. or are they like cloth? Like, yeah. Like, I need to know if I'm if I'm gonna eat this kind of thing. You know, like. The napkins are uh, very nice, right? Um, you uh -huh. you can tell they they're reused, they're washed, right? So the the lettering on them is a bit faded. Um, you know, this seems to be an an institution that's but, been around for a little while. But they're like uneaten, though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well that's good. I'd hate to eat someone else's, you know, napkin. Yeah, okay. Uh, I got something. What's up? Yeah. Um. So the Duke is with Percy yeah. working right now, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna invite Hans and Ryobi to go watch a movie slash go to the bar in the basement. Sure, yeah. So you would have to go back through, like, Zygus is kind of chilling, right? And he kind of acts, he acts as your, like, in-universe in video game, like, oh, you want to go to that other, you know what I mean? He'll take you back and uh, essentially, like, they're in the meeting with them, but they can leave if you offer this to them. Yeah, I will. Okay. I mean, I'm going to preface it to them by being like, yo, like, I really just need to not be a part of any sort of bullshit. I just need relaxing 
time. Yeah, they're, they're down. Duke tells them to go. Go have fun. So, before long, you're back with uh, Hans and Ryobe. So, what are we going to do? Oh, this place is so cool. We actually cleared the hell train. Oh my god, it was so cool. I mean, uh, yeah. Are we going to go play some uh, video games? Oh my god. Honestly, whatever oh. you guys want to do. <laughs> Just, uh... <laughs> As long as there's a lot of drinking. Let's go do karaoke. No, no, no. The theater beckons. You all have fun with of karaoke. I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I must go meet my future peers. Be back soon. Uh, Real Bay, it's on the same floor as karaoke. Oh, well, then we can all head there together, shall we? And we'll just whisper to Hans that that mode is scary. It's a scary mode. It's it's bad. He's down. He's down bad. He's down bad. It's okay. He's down bad. He's down bad for the arts, man. Okay, so you all head uh, over to the basement floor. What about Eden? What's going on with Eden? All right. So, uh, so we had people go to the restaurant. We had people go to karaoke theater, movie theater land. Yep. For the arts beckon. To a very artistic heart. They sure do. Um, where did... So we have Xion Zhang, Victor... Yeah, Zhang stayed behind um, for now. So Zhang's on the ship. Right. Okay. Victor went back to the ship. Well, he, he, he didn't go back to the ship. He, like, walked, like, towards the stairs, kind of, like, away from your the group. Okay. You don't know where he went. Okay. And then... Is she on? Did she on stay with Jong? So she on right now. She's kind of hanging out with Hugo, uh, kind of uh, looking towards Zygus, looking towards Hugo, and then looking towards you. Okay, I think. Uh. Eh. I think Eden will go to like the spas and pool area just to clean up because it's sure. it's been a hot minute since she's had a bath and she's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Be less gross. So that's that's her what she's gonna do. Hey Eden, mind if I tag along? Uh sure. Um if you don't mind. Oh, well actually Hugo, we were gonna go to the spa. Hey, uh, you can come with us, Hugo. We can all get massages if you want. Oh. Sure. She all was right. like, okay, let's go. And then, uh, yeah, you all head off towards the spa area. We need that shirtless Hugo on. I'm just saying. <laughs> Use your imaginations, everyone. All right. Nah, the community demands it. So, Eden, uh, on your way up the stairs, as you kind of round the corner of the stairs, kind of going up, Victor is waiting in the corner. <laughs> Bit of a close one. I am so used to being a part of Team Recall. I forgot that I am illegally on this last station. Woo. Close one. And then he and, looks and, at you. And, and and you didn't think to come up with any sort of cover? Listen, I was excited to be with you all again. That's all. Uh-huh. It's okay, good. whatever. Uh, Just come up with something so you don't get yeeted off this floor. <laughs> don't worry. I have arrangements in place in case something does happen to me. I'll always be able to worm my way out of any situation I'm placed into. That's terrifying. Anyway, I'm going to go get a bath. Cool. Since it's been a hot minute yeah. and I probably smell terrible. Mind if I tag along? Actually, Victor, we were. And you thinking... see her like bite. You see her bite something back. <laughs> well, you know, I feel like we could all use with a bit of a, a bit of a bath after everything that we've been through. Yeah. I mean, Hugo's going with you. I assume men are allowed. Hugo just like looks at him like. The hell? <laughs> I'm gonna go, and whatever you decide to do is up to you. She'll just turn the corner and start walking. Shion follows along. Hugo just shakes his head and then follows along. 
Well, I'm, I'll tag along, and he starts following along too. He, he starts he starts following along after all of you. The three groups splitting off into three areas of the last station resort. But while you are all preparing to enjoy the festivities and, and partake in this like well earned relaxation, somebody stayed behind on the pod. John, John's a what little are you, sneaky what are you, snake. What are you doing on the pod, man? What's going on? Things, <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> okay. I mean, maybe we'll see. All right, all right. What's going on? Um, where's Percy? Where's Percy? Um, he's yeah, in one of the. It's like, yeah, pretty easy for you to find him. Uh, by the way, we, we, I want to say though, I, I just want to talk to him. I just want to <laughs> talk to him. I just want to talk to him. You're, you're in this main kind of living area, right? And uh, there's a couple people who are there: uh, Glorfin and Oldfish, um, and they kind of look over at you. Glorfin kind of, you know, gives you like a look, and then Oldfish like Don't holds it, holds over like a bottle of alcohol, like. Eh, eh, eh. John just gives him a look like, put the bottle down, old man. Cool. And then you look over to the room that Percy and Duke entered. It is currently closed shut. You can hear talking from within. I mean, is the door locked? There's no iron bars like that entrance was barred, you know? Okay. Um... Dong's going to turn. So it's just Glorfin and uh, Oldfish sitting outside? I, I, yes, it is. Yes, it is. I just love that you said Old. you know? I'm just happy. I don't know what to say. Oldfish, he's a character. <laughs> I'm just happy, you know? Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love it. I got you, bro. Thanks. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, okay, yeah. That, that is that. Um, he's going to just turn to Glorfin. How long are they going to be in there? They said something about all evening. All evening? <sighs> Jesus. Alright, John's gonna try and go in the room. Glorfin, like, stops you for a sec. I don't know if you know this about Percy. He's... Even as for a guide, his powers don't exactly work like other silver dwarves or even red witches. Very unique to him and him alone. I understand if you have frustrations with him, but I promise he's trying his best. Jong just looks at Glorfin and looks back down at his hand. I don't know if you know this about me, but I don't appreciate people just touching me. He, like, lets go of his hand, but it's still, like, in the same place. I'm not going to hurt him. I just want to talk to him. He steps aside. John goes through the door. I, I I understand that, but I'm still trying. The data doesn't really make much sense to me. And then Duke is like scratching his head like, oh, if only. Oh, it's a bit hard to sort out. Okay. And he starts like writing it down again. From my understanding, and he looks up. Look who it is. And John, like he looks over at the Duke for like half a second before his eyes shift over to Percy. We John. need to talk. Oh, that, that actually is really perfect because you were still figuring out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let, let me be for a minute. Yeah. And he heads over towards you. And uh, he kind of motions to one of the other remaining empty rooms. The Duke seems like a nice guy. He seems friendly. I like him. You don't like him, do you? Anyway. I, I like... Um, what do you want to? What do you want to talk about? I feel so bad for this kid. <laughs> Joe has left the camera. <laughs> I literally in my head, I was like, I'm just gonna stare and see how long Percy goes on. <laughs> Camera was frozen. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> um. Percy. Mm -hmm. I want you to 
tell me how you knew something that I haven't told a single soul. I shouldn't have said it out loud. I'm sorry. That was so stupid. That was so dumb. No, you shouldn't have. But I want you to answer my question. I don't know. He's not... I'm not trying to sound I, sarcastic. I am a guide. Um, I have a... I'm able to see things that normal people can't. But... And he looks like... He kind of like loses the nervousness. Especially when it comes to you guys. It's always been that way. It's like... I know when something changes, I guess. Sometimes it speaks to me. Usually when it's a, an actual physical change. It's like... It's like I'm able to know. I was right, right? About the... I mean, you don't have fire powers. That's maybe the... Some other part of me speaking that's maybe excited, but... You have this new it's more, less like a fire and more like a little ember nothing like Eden's I just thought that was kind of cool and so I, I blurted it out I'm sorry earlier when we spoke with Fluxfolk she said that these powers that she was a conduit for them But I've been experimenting with mine. He looks almost excited. Nothing yeah. Crazy. Just uh, trying to emit a power here and there. Enter that place of my own will. something I need to do and since you seem to know so much about these powers these people these entities it almost feels like as time has been going on they've become less like people. No one's inside. It's getting harder. Right. It's getting harder to tell them apart from their Shinsu. Congratulations, Jong. That's great. I think with that... I know what that means. You're getting better at controlling them. You see, when they first joined with your soul, I think you were still getting used to it, but you're really the one in charge, you know? And the reason they're there is to offer you their power, so there's no other reason for there to be anything else, I think. So you're saying If, hypothetically, I didn't need one of them anymore, I could... Yeah. Do away with them? Yeah. If you gained enough control over it, yeah, for sure. Is one of them not strong enough for you? I understand. You want to make room for other abilities maybe as you continue your climb totally understandable that's part of it but that's not what this is about all right just, i'm gonna try it just be careful because flux isn't here and even though you're supposed to eventually be able to control these powers by yourself you know we're, we're, just be careful you're not gonna do it now are you I'm going to do it as soon as you leave this room. Oh, I was kind of hoping I could stay. No, get up. Okay. And he leaves. <laughs> I 
And Zhong sits back down on the couch. All right, Joe. What our role? Religion. Religion, I'm assuming. You got it, buddy. That is a 17. What do you do? He sits down and kind of just closes his eyes. Like he's, you know, he's done this a few times before, like in the, you know, throughout the years, but just he's concentrating on that feeling and the feeling of the Shinsu's from that place, the the mindscape mm -hmm, he's been mm -hmm. to. Yeah, it's been a while since you've like really tried to, to kind of enter this, right? And so it's been a long time since you've even like heard any voices or felt any of that influence. But you're kind of surprised at how easily um, you're able to kind of slip back into it when you truly want to, which is very rare for you. And you kind of feel these two sensations kind of floating up inside of you. And eventually one of them starts to take form. One of them starts to kind of, it's almost like a blurry thing that's like your eyes are unfocused. It's just out of reach. It's like this golden glow before slowly fades into view. I knew you'd be back. And the red dress, the golden hair, she walks towards you. Master. You have need of my powers. It has been quite a while. Sick name. Yes. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten you were here. Well, it's quite hard for me to forget, you understand. Zhong starts to look around. Where's the other one? Hmm. That droll little boy. He's been awfully quiet these days. Who knows? Maybe his weak power is no longer needed, and so he simply vanished. I noticed you haven't spoken to us to me yeah I sure haven't and tell me Signe Linquist and then John quickly just thrusts his hand forward and grabs her by the throat <gasps> uh, master you don't have to Why? be so harsh why do you think I... that is? <laughs> I know you, boy, from the Kuhn family. You think you can get by with your own power, but you realized otherwise. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> you want to taste the Linquist blessing? No. I will do so much more than that. See, I've been, I suppose you could call it training, this ability of mine. And recently, I learned a fascinating new detail. And as he's saying this, his grip is getting slowly tighter and tighter. Would you like to know what that is? That you have no need for it. You only have so much space for souls, and you get rid of the weak ones, yes? You catch on quick, Signe. And electricity, as the hand he's holding her with, electricity just slowly starts to funnel, like, up and down his arm, slowly, like, getting close to Signe, but, mm -hmm. like, by the time it reaches his wrist, it kind of stops. <laughs> <clears throat> Think nobody more than you. After all, you did the same thing with Seal Yong. 
him with Ace, if I recall. I gave that boy a life when his mother abandoned him. That and he whore. grips her, her throat. Ah! Before she I don't remember telling you to speak. I'm sorry, Master. So I'm sorry. I learned that I could absorb the power of an individual while completely erasing what's left of them. What? That's, that's... Now, suffice to say, this happened on the Hell Train inside of the mirror. So the details were a little bit different. But why don't we go ahead and put that no, 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 to no, the no. test? I truly think that's a bad idea. Jong, listen to me. You were inside of the mirror. That was different. It was allowing you to do something that you'd never done before. If you get rid of me, you won't be able to get the power you seek. The flame, if you were able to get the flame from, from my, my, my son. If you get that flame, you could be stronger than any other linguist in existence. Stronger than Bjorn, the first linguist. Doesn't that sound lovely? Without me, though, you don't have the blood. You don't have the power. Power, yes. Yes. Signe Linguist. You have lived your entire life fawning and fighting so you could make your mark on the Linguist history. After today, you will be forgotten. No one will mourn you. No, 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 no. I will be remembered. Nobody will remember you. And I promise you, if it takes me the rest of my life, I will personally dismantle your entire legacy. No! And her eye glows he golden. His no! eye like glow blue in response as he grips her and electricity starts to course into her body. Ah, she screams. No, no leaf, Astrid bow, and then she screams, you know "Soul, save me!" What we do with something we no longer have use of. And she, tears are streaming down her face. No, 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 no. And he slowly, like with both hands this time, lifts her up close and pulls her up close so he can whisper this in your ear. <laughs> we'll take away everything. Goodbye, stain of the linguist. And then he just electrocutes her. Wait! And then the shock just like runs up her body and her soul just like explodes into nothingness. Yellow sparkles kind of being left behind and scattering into the void. Her scream echoes and reverberates until it vanishes completely, leaving behind nothing. Um, can I feel sponge anywhere in this place? Takes you a second, but you feel another presence that you could head towards. Yes. It's kind of buried What's deep. Matter? Do you not want to talk? There's like a long silence until finally, you know, I didn't want to die at first. And a boy walks out of the darkness towards you with golden hair. But I'm okay with it now. Do it. And he holds out his hand towards you. You want me to get rid of you. It's scary, but I understand. You just want to gain more power so you can climb. That's what I wanted. Sponge, I'm... <laughs> I 
trying to do something more than that. Ever since I woke up, ever since I got a second stab at this life, ever since I found out what happened to my mother, that is a fight I have been training for my entire life. It is a fight under no circumstance. I can lose. I will win at any cost. But in order to do that, Hannah, you likely were... Them. Sorry, Hannah, you were unmuted. Oh, no. okay, okay. Sorry! You're good. Good. It likely means I'm going to have to kill somebody from my own family. So, my conventional weapons just aren't going to do the trick have to think outside the box and he kind of motions his arms like to this whole place they're in this is what I've come up with I'm going to assemble a unique set of abilities my final ace in the hole well when the day comes I can kill whoever it is. But these abilities and these people I don't just want to steal them. Force them. Fight for me. To give me their strength. However I didn't bring you here, Sponge. Up until now, I have been the reason you stayed. I don't know how much of what you saw way back on the mirror train, how much you know about me, the person that I really am. But you should know that I am not a good man. The life I live, the things I'm going to have to do. You don't have to be a part of that. Nanjong, like, he puts his fingers to Sponge's forehead, and slowly, like, a very small bang starts to form. Say the word, and I will send you on your way. You don't have to be here, but what I do now, what I'm gonna have to do. But if you stay, it has to be of your own free will. No intention of keeping you here otherwise. So... Back on the workshop, you almost convinced me to quit. That won't be happening anymore. I am going to fight until I can't move anymore. Every single person, every single test, until I find who's responsible. And I need to see that in you. Show me you have that drive, if not, I will get rid of you right here, right now. Know that I don't blame you if you want to leave. Probably better. But if you want to stay, I have to know why. And I have to know you mean it. A little long silence after all that. You mean it. I think one of the reasons I was killed was because my family did some pretty horrible things. Horrible things to certain people in the tower that just deserved a normal life. And in a way, I think I've kind of accepted that I probably deserved it. I've seen what they've done. I even 
could have ended up like them if I kept climbing. But I've been alone in here for such a long time. But it feels like you're giving me the chance to do one last good thing. He like looks up at you. Even someone as weak as me? Sponge, I don't believe any one person is truly weak. It's just resolve that you lack. That anybody who doesn't know their future, their present, or who they really are, lacks. That can be changed. Resolve. I can't guarantee or promise to find it. But maybe I don't want to die. Not yet. Maybe I do want to try. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the most Resolute, but I can try. And then, just for a second, as Jong is looking at Sponge with this bang trained on him, he sees himself when he was a kid. Jung slowly lowers the one hand and he holds up another one. Let's see if we can find that. I'm not making any promises, but go ahead and try. He nods and he grabs your hand. Just, you should know that after I find out who killed my mother, after that fight, and he like, he, his back is turned away from Sponge, but he kind of just turns his mm -hmm. head over, not fully looking at him. That's going to be it for us. And I'll be ready. Thank you for giving me one last chance. Yeah. Sure thing, kid. You may not thank me before it's done. And Zhang's gonna close his eyes and try to, mm -hmm. like, leave the mind place. Sure, and you, you, you just you find yourself back in that empty room, kind of across from the room where Percy and the Duke were. You're alone. And then you hear a knock on the door. You good in there, kid? God. Yes, I'm fine, old man. Would you like to play a game of checkers? And John gets up, <laughs> and he opens the door. Toothy grin. He's holding up a checker game. The old mind could use a bit of a spin. No. <laughs> I think it's a good time to cut away to the other group. <laughs> I think that's a good time to cut away. <laughs> 
Come to the spa song. Shield is here. Come on. <laughs> and uh, Victor and Hugo. <laughs> uh. Look, you don't need to know that, you know? <laughs> Uh, first group I want to cut to is Damien with uh, Brack and Team Bloodstorm. You enter this uh, this buffet. They've got uh, Brack, the the all you can eat, forty two pound times three Mopey Bame steaks are brought. It takes up like an entire table. I mean, obviously, it's like a huge table that it's placed upon, and it's like layer upon layer upon layer, and they just smile to you. Congratulations on clearing the Hell Train. They all bow to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clear the hill track. Now, <clears throat> the splash zones are these three tables. Don't get close. <laughs> Do you like, multi beams taste better when they're bigger? Or is like, I don't know. We about to find out. You know how like lot bigger lobsters don't taste as good as smaller lobsters? Is that kind of deal? I mean, how do they even find multi beams this big? I mean. In the sky. Simon uh, looks at it. I think this might be artificially made. Like lab bread, multi multi. I think so, maybe. Huh? Is that... I'm curious to try it out. Is that ethical? <laughs> it's you know, Damien. When have we ever asked ourselves that question regarding this? Regarding regarding our climb, and you know what I mean. Listen. Whoa! Listen. I mean, fair enough. It's nobody it's... was asking about if if Ptolemy's milk was <laughs> ethical. <okay? laughs> what I mean to say is, if it tastes good, I mean. That's pretty great for science, right? I mean, Simon Goaded, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Fair enough. He sticks his fork. Oh, uh, sorry, Brack, would you mind if we partook in your meal? Brack? <laughs> the slow look. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what does that? What does that mean, David? Is, is he saying he's, he's saying no, isn't he? Brat. Yeah. Um. You need to. You need to say it. Uh, uh, <laughs> no. No, my steak. All right. Well, you heard, you heard it here. <laughs> and as he said that, Robin like had already taken a bite. Brock wave walkers over. Right as she about to bite down on the fork. He slaps it out her hand. Okay, you know, no, no, no. She's gonna try to roll out to, to not get slapped by your hand. Can I'm you, rolling <laughs> against it. Give me a sleight of hand versus hers. <laughs> I mean, my practice rolls earlier were terrible. All right, well, let's, let's see. There's still hope. Thirteen. Okay. It's, wow, that's like dead even. Like you both kind of like stop each other. An even match. Well, uh, this Simon, we should is a buffet. Slides. You can get your own food. Why do you need mine? She takes it out of her Madam. mouth. Madam. Hmm? She doesn't speak very much, Brack. Speak now. <laughs> Damn, we read so you go all over again. <laughs> if you uh, Simon looks at you, Damien, like, is this a real fight that's about to happen, or...? It, uh, very well could be. <laughs> but it, it'll be a fun fight, don't worry, I'm sure that it won't get that serious. I can try something. Hey, hey, Brack! Brack! You two made such a good team at Train City with... We, we call, we, you know, Robin able to power your Shinsu. Let, let, let's, let's get along so that in the future we can have better collaborations. Hostess? Uh-huh. Get her a 16-ounce Mopey Bang steak. 16-ounce? <laughs> I'm on it. And Robin just glares at you, puts her fork down at the table. Brock glares back at Robin. This is only fair. This is equivalent exchange. This is actually very diplomatic for Brad. <laughs> okay. Okay. And uh, a new 16 ounce steak is delivered. Robin just looks at it, looks back at you. It's delicious. Don't let it get cold. And Brock just at the end of the table leans over to his steak, nibbles on the edge, bites off a chunk, and goes, mm -hmm. <laughs> Enjoy. And he walks back to his side of the table where he finishes his food. <laughs> What a lively start. 
So Damien, uh, yeah, I, yes. I meant to talk a little bit more about the, uh, you know, the functionality of the gauntlet and such. Yeah, um, I don't want to, I've, there's definitely a lot to report. I can read the memories a lot faster now, thanks to it. Did you... I was able to pick up a few techniques. Oh, like what? Oh, I remember an ability called Killer Whale Style Prominence. I think it'll be really powerful. Prominence? Robin kind of like looks over. Oh. Is that related to the experiment we performed? Regarding the, um... The one we were in the room. Um, the training dummies. That... I don't... You're gonna have to give me a little more info than that. Prominence. When struck it by involves, an attack. Yeah. Yeah. It involves me singling out a target and chipping them down with even more uh, damage. What about your ice shinsu? Uh, the less we talk about that, the better. Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. It's, uh, it's fine. I can, you know, make a cool little gun shape out of my hand and I can fire it. You know? Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, well, maybe not super cool for someone on the 44th floor. Damien, you keep underestimating yourself. When that gauntlet reaches its full potential, I mean... <laughs> I just... I mean, that's ranker know, material. You know that, right? I just, you know... Sometimes I feel like I didn't really earn my power, you know? I just was kind of lucky to find these scissors and, well, it's given me a boost. You're right. You were lucky. I think that I'm just about as average as anyone else on the tower. I mean, that might be true. I wasn't able to living bomb, I mean, who would I be, really? I would just be Damien Frog. Race uh, looks up at you, like into your eyes. And Race Felger's buddy, of course. <laughs> Anyways, I, I swear I'm I'm not mopey about it. In fact, I feel very privileged to have this opportunity to work with the workshop. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I want to hear. Hell yeah. And here's to my dad. Who, uh, yes. hates me! I don't think he hates you. I what he, yes, yeah. I well. don't really know how mad he is. He, uh, threatened... Here's to him hopefully not hating you. He threatened to do some things, but hey! What are fathers for? What are fathers for? Right, yeah. And after he says that... Sounds like you got a shit dad. <laughs> that was just eating. <laughs> He's actually really nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, frog. He, he's a very uh, agreeable dude. He's uh, just, you know, under a lot of pressure from higher ups. We put a lot of money into my gauntlet and all, so we're hoping to get results. Anyone can buy things. What you can't buy is love. I mean, unless you go to the red light district, but you know, that that's a different kind of love. You don't want that love. If I gave you all of my money, Brack, would you love me? I'll take your money and I'll tell you I love you. I won't love you. That's me as your friend. <laughs> uh, Just telling you the truth. That is the answer I was looking for. <laughs> Someone taps you on the shoulder, Brack. It's the hostess. Um, some a gentleman on the other table wishes to speak to you. Uh, could you point to which table, madam? She points over to a corner of the restaurant, and you see this, uh, he looks to be about six foot six, very well built, kind of like very, uh, his suit looks to be very tight on him, but, like, he has huge shoulders. And, Is uh, he on the rich side or the rich a side? A bald head. <laughs> what did you say? The rich Not side? Another, Not the another side big the bald guy. guy. Oh, he's on the he's <laughs> in the buffet. He's in the buffet. What do you mean? 
Rack walks over to him. So as you walk closer, you realize he's very clean shaven, no facial hair, you know, completely shaven oh head. Oh my god. <laughs> His name's gonna be Rock, isn't it? <laughs> and he looks up Rack at you. from afar looks at him. I know that shiny dome from anywhere. It's Bulwark. Bulwark? Is that you? It's nice to meet you. Oh, you're not Bulwark. <laughs> it's good to meet you. Over there, that wouldn't happen to be another member of the syndicate, would it? Uh, who's asking? <laughs> and Brock wants to roll like a, a, a perception on his suit to see how expensive it is. Oh, you is. can do in, insight, I think. Insight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's insight the one. Works. Yeah, let's see. God damn, but my insight has. is yikes. But it don't matter. That's the 15. 15. I mean, let me just say this. The is he looking like money alone, bags? The suit alone, you know, you've met some pretty wealthy people, right? I mean, you've met like Senior Mookin, you know, you saw the dude, Steamy, you know. Senior yeah, Mookin was like C level rich, though. Right? He wasn't like A -level. Bill A. Barton. Yeah, you've, you've met some people, right? I mean, this is quality. Whatever this guy's wearing is quality quality it puts so them to shame okay okay dang and he knows who he knows about the syndicate too Rack, all right sir Could i'll give you 10 minutes of my time that's all i need you could be welcome to both of you sit here he motions across from him uh i have a i have a thing for this It's a good... Simon and Robin, we can share a chair. Simon and Robin are cool with staying at the other table. No, no, we can share the chair. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think... Okay, um, sure. Um, perhaps you've never heard of me. And that's well-intentioned. You've seen these. And he holds up a strawberry water. Brack looks... He, he makes no subtle movements on the outside, but on the inside, he's like, this son of a gun made strawberry water. Oh, we're about to be rich. I, I oh. love the table. What do I, we do? I, we, we, do we pretend we don't know? We want to be like, I've never seen that before in our lives. What do you want to do, Melios? Hmm? What was that, Frog? No, like, do we, do we want to pretend we don't know what he's talking about? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah, we yeah. got to. We got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Very impressive water that we've never seen before in our lives. You've never seen it. it truly is a staple amongst regulars in their climb. We feature celebrities often on the packaging. Uh, I own it. I own the company that owns the company that owns the company that owns this. Sparkling water. I give... <laughs> I give Brack so you're... Of, oh shit <laughs> <laughs> so he's the company owner of the company that is the company right that's what he said is this like the head of coca cola -y kind of deal <laughs> mm. might be might be are we about to get a buyout Brack, are, <laughs> Milius, are we gonna get a buyout <laughs> <laughs> Be cool, Damien Dam! <laughs> for, for security reasons, I do not reveal my name to the public. You may call me Brock Borson. He just stole my name, Frog. I, he uh, called himself Brock. Simon, can we look up this name? <laughs> this name that sounds a little bit. Frog, oh, you're a light bearer! Huh? Yeah, he's the, he's the you have a supercomputer. Yeah, but I'm in the middle of a negotiation. You may call me Brock. All right, Brock. Like Rock, but yeah, okay. Kind of like Boulder and Bulwark. And, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, too many bees. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was hoping to discuss a potential opportunity. Uh, yeah, I understand that. For a regular, you are fairly wealthy. And well-respected. 
Don't forget well respect. I don't like the tone that you had there, but you're rich, so I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll say it again. For a regular, you have wealth. You, 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 you should say it again. Let's get to the point. <laughs> yes. I believe the negotiations are in our favor, Kalitos. <laughs> considering all of your assets, it is my understanding that you most likely have wealth in the millions, correct? Yes. It would be fair to assume. I'm offering you a chance. Two. Quadruple your earnings. Hmm. What do you propose? I'm sorry, did I say quadruple? What did did he cut out? No, nah, he, he's looking up something. <laughs> Did you say quadruple? <laughs> okay, okay, Dr. Evil. Get, get to the point. Come on. I meant to say... I meant to say... 100-fold. Hmm. These are some big money promises. What do you want us to do? Before... I, you know, even decide to think about the money. How do you plan on doing it? You are the syndicate. Your name has been growing amongst regulars, especially regulars who are looking to start a business. However, it is my understanding he looks at you, Damien. Looks back to you, Brack. You have ventured into other business opportunities that didn't quite pan out. But Brack, as soon as you say that, Brack just looks over at the Frog, and he's just like, "There is no yeah, shame." Didn't pan out. I simply, I mean, right, Frog? Every business I, has its ups and downs. You didn't fire him when we told you to fire him, right, Frog? I just think that Syndicate. We told you to give him the boot, Frog. It went. It was a nice experiment, but we decided that we knew what we needed to focus on. It's experiment that. with live money, Frog. I see there's some tension amongst the shareholders in your company. Not at all. We are completely... No tension, unified. it's just, I like to bust his balls. Let's, let's yeah, continue. And I, and I like to pretend that bust, getting my balls busted is bothering me, but it, it actually doesn't. <laughs> well, I what I admire is that you see opportunity... And then when you realize that the opportunity isn't quite what you had in mind, you're okay with letting it go. That is a skill. Brack, I wanted to know if you would consider continuing the work that you do, nothing would change, but simply under the umbrella of my company. And we would get a hundredfold. I guarantee it. However, there are some stipulations, of course. Of course there are. You would remain the leader of the syndicate. But That's I, a co-partnership. But continue. But I would have a say in the financial decisions you make with your company. Say without money. Offer my input. Offer a hand in the voting process. And in exchange, I want to start featuring your team on our water. Uh, um, one second real quick, old chap. Uh, Frog, yeah, 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 there's yeah. no way we can convince Red Leader to to do well, this. We, we Nor Blue it. Leader. We could really They'll rather take like my legs. Seasons, you know what I mean? Like... The first season we could feature is what would be could be like Hugo or something, you know? Like think think about yeah, it. Yeah, but they don't know Hugo. Hugo don't even know Hugo no, because they, Hugo don't talk. That is quite <laughs> Hugo. Hugo. Hugo is a huge like do you see how many people fawn after him in the in the purifications? I mean you're, you're it right. is crazy. You're you're right. He has like, he has the female demographic from eighteen <laughs> exactly. to thirty-five. Right. 
<laughs> yeah, in management, all right? This could make even more money than we're talking about. But maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe we, we, we want to bet on ourselves on this kind of deal. You know what I mean? Because it's mm. a good idea. But that means he gets financial say-so. He would be the COO. No, no, no. I mean, like, we bet on ourselves and we do this without oh we steal his idea that is very social network of you I it like is it. right <laughs> we would be the the mark zuckerberg of Tower. exactly <laughs> exactly oh my gosh <laughs> this evolved into something <clears throat> I don't... all right all right all right frog this is how we're going to play this yeah mr brock May I, you just explain to us your entire business plan, right? What's to stop us from doing that with uh, vitamin B? I'm sorry? Joe, I need, I need to look up the patent on this and I need to make sure we, we get it. <laughs> okay, Hulk, you're on Hulk, the box, you're on Hulk, the box. Yeah, 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 Hulk, yeah. Is, 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 is the fair haired character, is he does he is he a light bearer like you? The fair haired character? The one that's on your team. From the workshop. Simon is not a <laughs> light bearer. No, he's not. He's a spear bearer. What about the lady? The young lady over there. He's a fisherman. He's a he's a fisherman, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah, good. What about the young lady over there? Hmm? Robin? Uh wave controller. And I'm left this, with you. <laughs> I'm good. Can't even I'm operate good at a like pocket Paris properly, <laughs> just like me. This is a shame. Um, mm. Damien's on the box as we speak. Okay, do you want me to roll? You want me to roll? Uh, sure, mm -hmm. you can make a layout check. Sure. I've actually been so bad at layout checks. It's nuts. Come on, we need this. <laughs> that cannot <That's> be <laughs> real. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? My lighthouse uh, you appears to be uh, smoking. <laughs> you blew your lighthouse, didn't you? My lighthouse, oh my uh, you know. God. I'm, I'm. There might be a little bit of mopey bane. <clears throat> is your lighthouse okay, uh, sir? It is actually not at all. <laughs> I see. He just left it running for too long. It, it's okay. It, it, uh, it does that all. Rookie time. mistake. I, I understand. <laughs> yeah, rookie mistake. Frog, we just, call uh, woo. You know, huh? <laughs> call woo. Yeah, okay, as long as he's not doing anything. It don't matter what he's doing, call he's he will wake up for money. <laughs> call Woo. So Calling. Woo. I'll, I'll cut to Woo. This is this takes place before. You were on your way to the basement area, the karaoke, the theater. You were on your way to experience that. And um you arrive it takes place before I'm there or No no no. Like, I'm you... saying like oh, okay. you oh, like see, you I and see, this see. see all this is taking place before. You're I arriving see, for the karaoke and uh Ryobe. His hand reaches out towards the theater. Ryobe, contain yourself. We got plenty of time. The all right. Hills are alive oh. With the sound of the tower. You know what? <laughs> How about this? I have a great idea for a stage play. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? How about you and Hans join me for a drink? <clears throat> and I'll tell you all about it right now. It's a riveting tale. I would like for you to take take the reins of it. If it's an idea. You're not pulling my leg right now. It's an idea. Absolutely not. For a stage play. Hans, we are, we're off. I just want to do some karaoke, man. Can, I mean... <laughs> we need drinks before karaoke, I guess Hans. The, That's how it works. All right, fine. So you, you head over to the bar, and uh, they're able to serve you whatever drink you desire. We'll ask the bartender, and this is the first alcohol he's had in maybe, like... I, I can't even say how long it's been. I have, uh -huh. to, I have to actually do the math on that. But yeah, he, he says uh, two shots of whatever these two want. Actually, hmm. whatever you think is best for them. Look at them. They don't drink much. And seven shots of rum for me. Understood. I'll be right back. Put your heads on. So, what is this genius idea you're cooking up in that beautiful brain of yours? Let me guess, a tragedy, a musical tragedy, regarding 
you're the creative one here. Thank you. Aren't you? <laughs> I am. Thank you. Listen to the tale. And Wu's like randomly arranging the seven shots that he bought like in front of himself. And he puts like three of them on one side, three of them on the other side, and one in the middle. And you come up with the story yourself. Uh, a little unorthodox. It's not exactly what we were taught in, in <laughs> university, but uh, sure. By all means. There was once a boy who had three brothers. One that couldn't see. One that couldn't hear. And one that couldn't speak. The father, fa the father favored the three, but hated the one that was born with all his faculties. So they hated him too. For a time. He thought, I wish I had sisters and said, now the same boy grew into a young man and adopted three sisters. One that he left, one that left him, and one that was taken from him. The tower came for the three because they hated the one that was born with all his faculties. So he hated them too, for a time. Now, if you ask me how the story ends, and as Wu's been saying all of this, he's been taking shot after shot after shot after shot after shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a lot of alcohol, my dude. That's for the genius here to come up with. <laughs> I have an and then under his breath, he says something that's kind of inaudible unless you're really paying attention. And he thinks about his master briefly in a positive way for the first time in years. I have an ending to the story. The boy decides to get the sisters back. So first, the sister that he left, he apologizes. It's this beautiful scene. The second sister that left him, he apologizes. But the third one, the one that was taken away, tragically perished. And because of it, the boy, the only one that the boy cannot forgive is himself. <laughs> Sorry. We'll workshop that. <sighs> yeah. You're a good storyteller, Wu. That they. Oh, so from here i appreciate all that. right enough with the story karaoke theater let's go hey woo Bonds? i got you man he smiles tell you a good guy hans i just hope that both you and Ryobe start doing some things for yourself, too. Things for ourselves? What? He's... Yeah, yeah. Realistically, you have been all along. Just don't lose sight of... I just... Actually, you don't need to hear it. We were supposed You're better to... off than me. We were supposed to lose him that day, and we didn't. And I will never forget that. And I will work every day to make sure that I live up to the reputation of the Band of Bones. No! The Duke of Bones. And that means working on me. You're right. You're right. It hey. also means being the friend that you've been. He throws back some alcohol. Now that's what I like to see. Let's do some karaoke! Yeah! Woo! What are you going to say? I was thinking some King, you know, that new single. Oh, King is fire. fire, yeah! I feel it in my bones, dude! Here, and let's play it. Let's ask him to play it, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Woo, you're up first! Come on, Woo! This is all you! I'm not actually gonna sing this. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> we can use our imagination. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs>
You're not gonna sing us a song on the final episode before the break? <laughs> nah, bro, I can't have that. <laughs> He's like, that'll be on the internet forever. <laughs> oh, it's okay, I understand, I understand. Han starts singing, he's drinking, they're all having a good time, Ryobe's dancing. And then Hans puts an arm around your shoulder. Hey, uh, woo! Oh. You know, I always wondered, do you think guys should just shoot their shot? Or wait for the girl to say that they like him? Who is this about, exactly? I, it's about me. <laughs> I mean, it could be a guy, too. I'm just, I'm just speaking for myself, you know? Uh, I think that if you're unsure, it's always best to put your cards on the table. But, but what if they don't uh, think if they don't like you because, because of the things you say? Well, if they don't like the things you say, then they're not the one for you. You're a great guy, Hans. You're right. They shouldn't like the things you say. That's true. Thanks, Wu. Appreciate that. And then you start getting a call from Damien. Oh, thank God. This man, Hans, can't hold his liquor. Damien. Damien Eric Frog on the line. Damien Eric Frog on the line. I think other Joe is not on the line. We will be back here in a second. He's probably just getting up and grabbing over some. Um, Brack, I'm a, like, I'll keep the music going and stuff. Like, while Damien... Hi, oh. Liz. Ah! We need to talk woo, all right? Okay, the investment opportunity thing, here we go. Okay. Hey, slow, slow down, slow down. What's going on? Hey, so, uh, we're, uh, going to be Mark Zuckerberg this, uh, <laughs> idea. All right. I'm, I tell him basically everything we've heard already. Mm -hmm. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, you're informed. This guy is legit. Um, well, he won't tell us his real name. He's going by Brock Branson. That's clearly... <laughs> but he's the head of Strawberry Water, and I do believe that. This seems right. like something targeted specifically at Brack. It's a fishing scheme at best. I don't know why you would take this bait. Well, We would have heard of this guy. It's not that we're going to accept his offer. It's we're going to steal. <laughs> so you're going to accept his money? No. What well, me. If he invests in us, then, then okay, he can become. Well, if I'm being honest, franchise. I think about I, it. I see the vision. We I'm not bad at it. Just um, we could have more. What do you need from me? Merchandise. Oh, I just want approval. You're one third of oh. the syndicate, after all. Yeah, but if you guys want to make a decision, that's on you. I'm just here to help clean up the messes. The one yeah. thing you should know before you do this is that we're still kind of in league with Bartimus, so we gotta vet who this person is. If there's a conflict of interest, he won't be happy, and then it's a large part of our current funding. But if it all works out, we can pay back Bartimus and make lots of money in return. So we just keep both parties unaware of each other, and you guys handle the final details. If there's anything I can do... <laughs> Did you get all that, Brack? Well, yep. We're not taking this money. I have enough funding myself in order for us to fund the idea that he just pitched to me. What I need you to do is, I need you to get Blue Leader and Red Leader on board. This doesn't work without them. What do they have to be on board with exactly? The because whole, the business model involves all the of whole us. advertising angle. Because you know damn well I can't convince either of them to do that. It's okay. I'll I'll hold she on over over red leader's head. I'm blue leader's head. No no no, for, no. You guys are thinking about this all wrong. Okay 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 okay. And for red leader, I'll figure it out. All we need is to string this. I just guy gotta find a hot guy. <laughs> Those are in abundance on this floor. I mean, why don't we release it Excuse in? Excuse me. <laughs> why don't we release it in seasons per se, and start with Hugo, and then I was gonna Hugo say that's a great ends. idea, right? All we yeah. gotta do is follow Damien's idea and string this guy along for a year at best. 
Don't give him all the cards. I can provide him curated footage. And we're good. And but then when the time is right. The COO. He wants to call shots. What uh yes. what I would like to do. What I would like to do. All right. Just above the table. Just let's just this will go by faster if we just discuss it like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So if we, we do this idea, but we convince him to invest in us. Yes. And then, that, that's the and, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we can, you know, we can tackle manufacturing, you know. I mean, we have the widespread appeal to, you know, to possibly sell this product, you know what I mean? We can easily make this happen. We can get a lot yeah. of money for that. I, I say go ahead with it. Let him think look, Brack, your idea is, is is sound. Just let him think whatever he thinks. You're still in charge at the end of the day. We just have to, you know. He can't what is he really gonna do to once the transaction has been made? I mean he's rich. He looks like I he comes had, from old money. I got old money friends too. All right. Don't worry about it. I've been dealing with these shady underworld types for the last seven years. They got a big bark, but the bite. <sighs> that crazy. Yeah, so we're in agreement. We won't let him have any control. We'll try and get him to invest in us so we can take this over. But we want to keep our integrity. We want to keep our integrity. And that starts with nothing about anything changing. He can give his input if he wants to, and we'll take it under consideration. All right, uh, Simon, Robin, <clears throat> any, la any last thoughts? This is all you, man. Anyway, oh, oh my, I think Hans is throwing up. I got, I gotta go. <laughs> and Wook has off the line. Any word on our agreement? Okay, Mr. Brock, here are our stipulations. Here's our counter offer. You invest, you make a big profit. However, you do not get COO privileges, but we will take whatever you say under advisement or under consideration for any future plans that we have. Hmm. You will be a shareholder. That's how you wish to play this. I you still that. get all the rewards and benefits, just none of the input. Yeah, I mean, think of the long-term profits, right? If this grows into an even bigger thing, then like you'll you'll have made even more money. And you will be the first to actually have a stake in the syndicate and team recall. We could even do crossovers. You're getting us for the cheap right now. We're worth trillions, not not even billions, trillions. I don't know about trillions, but we you're are a funny man, Black Bronze. Quite popular. I cannot deny your popularity. And while this isn't exactly what I was hoping for, I think it's a start. I'm happy to invest in your organization, but in return, I do wish to feature one member of your team on our strawberry water. And kiwi water and banana water and the like. Okay. We got a color for each. The more the merrier. I want at least one member of your team featured on our brand. And who, since I am such a generous guy, who would you like? Would please like don't say red leader. Please choose. don't say red leader. Please don't say red leader. I mean, I can sell you on some pretty great people. Of course, there is. Wu, who was fourth in the workshop battle, also a very popular tower tuber as well. A tower tuber, we've done those. Is yes. a very po popular tower we've tuber. We've done tower and tubers. Yeah. Tell him, you can tell him that I was. And the, the he Bartimus defeated. He that he work. defeated the Linquist champion. I don't remember know. I, that? that. That means nothing to me. No, yeah. just tell Dude, him I work for the even known outside their own floor. That sucks. Bro, bro, just tell him above the table. Tell him I work for the Bartimus family. Tell him I work for Bartimus this second. Do you know who the Bartimus family is? <laughs> Scum. Right, we don't know that. He has no affiliation <laughs> with the Bartimus family whatsoever. <laughs> Good. But he is a Lapobia. 
as Brax says that a flicker happens in his head? No, 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 no. I see a star amongst your merry crew. Yes, of course. You must be talking about Shion, the Tiger Empress, of course. Her uh... charm and her athleticism would be perfect for a sports drink line. I believe I have a photo of the one in question. Oh, I no. want this one featured on our water. Go, oh, baby! Let's go, baby! I believe Don't that worry, she I will have the Tiger been... Empress in makeup, crimped and ready. Tiger Empress, is that her name? I like it. I like it quite a bit, actually. Yes, that's what yes. we'll go with. Yes, I like it. Very good! So we're in John's agreement. John's not gonna like this, bro. John's not gonna like this. This is all We she have a deal. Saying. Black grabs his hand, shakes. <laughs> Very good! Yeah, I have <laughs> Simon, take the photo. Like <laughs> yeah, the, photo. <laughs> the photos are taken. <laughs> the deal is made. He gives you his pocket info, Brack and Damien. He says that they'll be in contact soon. Sir, Good. I understand that you're going by an alias at this point in time, but since we are working together, what is your last name, if you don't mind me asking? I don't need your first, just your last. Oh. But I already told you, Borson. That's not your last name. Like, come on, we're we're we're, we're making money once together. Once we like... become friends for life, once our businesses boom together, then I will tell you my last name. So that's Borson with a B, or is that like a v with a B? It's like... with a B. B as in Bronson. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So B O like Orson. But add, add one B. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no problem. I'll definitely remember that. I can't tell if this is the dumbest or smartest <laughs> deal that's happening right now. <laughs> um, okay. Whew. We'll know after the time, Skip. <laughs> <laughs> we'll know. Cool. All right. Well, that all took place. All those shenanigans there. Now we're going to cut to the Eden group. We're cutting to the people heading to the spa. We've got Eden. Shion, Hugo, and Victor heading to the spa to get a nice relaxing time, possibly a massage and the like. So yeah, you head up to the second floor and it's quite empty. There's not many people there. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's, it's, very, it's very spacious. There are plenty of like little hot spring sections and spas. They have, um, you know, various, uh, um, what is the, what are the, um, the place, the uh, the sauna, yeah, they've got like saunas, you know. They have like, and they have like a dozen massage uh, masseuses on standby. And uh, yeah, you walk in. The room is very like a, a, a dark blue color. It's very the lighting is very low, and uh, yeah, it seems very peaceful. Eden, look over at Shion and Hugo. So what do you guys want to start with? I mean, personally, I would love a massage. My shoulders have been killing me. <sighs> there you go. Um, I think the hot spring is fine for me. All right. I think the better question is what you, Eden, want. Victor walks up next to you. Hi. Um, I think I'm just going to get a bath first, and then I'll figure out what to do. Splendid! I think I'll take test out the sauna. See you all in a bit. Uh, Eden, if you don't want him around, I can kick him out. Nah, he's fine. Okay. And everyone kind of splits off to go do their own separate things. So yeah, Eden, you go and kind of, you know, you, there's a private area where, where you can take as much time as you'd like. There's nothing uh, keeping you whatsoever. Is there any particular, like, thoughts or things that Eden does or says? No, she's just trying to keep herself together with everything that's going on. Sure. Um, but she'll eventually get done getting cleaned up, and uh, then she'll go to the hot springs and just hmm. chill. Are you going to go to the one with Hugo? I mean, that might embarrass his sweet little heart. I don't know. Is he ready for that? 
it, it, I I wouldn't put it that way. It's up to you uh, if you want to enter. Uh, you know, no comment on the embarrassment factor. It's up to you. Uh. I mean, she she's probably too tired to care at this point, so she'll just go at the nearest one. If he's there, cool. If not, cool. <laughs> nearest one, it wouldn't be the one with him. So okay, okay. Yeah. You're chilling. You're chilling. There's like a couple people on the other end, but they're just like staring at the ceiling. They're not really uh, bothering at all. Yeah, you just sit there in silence for a while, and uh, before long, someone slides down, not next to you, but kind of nearby, and uh, Shion slides into the hot spring. Oh, that felt great. Good. Shall just feel better? Yeah, maybe I've been working them too hard. Hmm. No, I haven't. It's never too hard. Never too much training. Nah, you can. You can overdo it. And, like, Shion can see, like, Eden's, like, super, like, beat up bloody hands. Because she, she doesn't have her gloves on now. I think your hair looks better now. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's just damaged. Common theme. So what about you? My hair? I mean, kind of the same as Hover. No, 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 no. I, I know. I, I, no, no, I, no. I, I was. I'm kidding. You and you and Zhang. What, what the, what's going on? He's a good leader, and it's been fun getting to oh, discuss. Oh, for fuck's sake, Xion, just... Ugh. Are you guys ever gonna, like... Go beyond this little game of patty cake that you guys are doing since the second floor? <laughs> Why is it every time we end up in the hot spring. This is the first topic of conversation. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Because you guys are the only two bright spots in this team sometimes. And we're rooting for you, and you don't take it, and it frustrates the hell out of the rest of us. Let's just say that whatever happens, happens. Oh, I'm gonna dunk you under this water and hold you under. That would not be appreciated. Mm-hmm. Change it up. Do something different. Hmm. Take initiative. I don't care. Initiative? But what if I'm I fine don't... with the way things are? Ugh. Okay. I tried. Wait, who's rolling? <laughs> so... Who's rolling at a time like <laughs> this? <laughs> Joe, oh, Joe rolled it. Oh my God, Joe rolled initiative. I was taking initiative. Get the frick out of here, dude! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> well, no one can say that I didn't try. My matchmaker days are over. <laughs> I think I just kind of have more on my mind right now. It's crazy that you all got to see my brother. Oh, uh, yeah, we saw a lot of shit, didn't we? Yeah. I'm gonna rescue him. One of these days. One of these days, I'll be strong enough, influential enough to be able to take care of him. I haven't heard back from him since the day I entered the tower. I'll try contacting him now. We're at one of the biggest stops. Y'all have the best reception. <laughs> I don't know how to get a hold of him. Hey, of course you can. No, I don't. When they entered the tower, we didn't even have pockets. Oh. <sighs> but... Shion, I've got... I'm okay with it. <sighs> because I know him. And he's stronger than he believes. I know that. And so I'm content with it. I'll find him when I'm ready. I could call in a final favor if you want. I got one more. No. 
you've already put too much pressure on yourself. You Colin. need to have us call favors for you. Not the other way around. I can call him. No. I have an emergency number with him. Don't, please. She like holds out her hand, please. It's okay. I promise if it ever gets to that point, I will ask. But I'm okay for now. Because he could go find him. I'm okay. Always check I'm, on him I'm, for I'm, you. It's okay for now, but thank you. If it ever gets to that point, I'll ask. I promise. All right. Thank you for offering. You're welcome. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty jealous. Jealous? Spent more time with my brother training than I've ever, I ever got to. <laughs> In all my vast years. We're virtually separated for most of it. Of course, we saw each other at family functions and stuff, but... Never were allowed to train together. Really. We did it in secret a few times, but I was terrible, so... <laughs> he told me to concentrate on what I was good at. And what were you good at? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> so I got good at doing nothing. Try to be the best mom I could be. Best logistics manager. He did to everyone's beck and call. And here I am. For better or for worse. If you could do whatever you wanted to the people that hurt you, tear them down from their position, make them go through what you went through, is that ever, if that feeling ever reaches to a point where you do I want to be there too. Because, and I know what you're going to say, that there's no chance we'd ever be able to, but I think it's a nice dream to have at least. To make them go through what we went through. What just that simple fact alone would mean everything to me. Goodness me, Shion, I think Jong's starting to rub off on you. <laughs> I wouldn't wish what I went through on my worst enemy. Nobody deserves that. Of course, there are days I want to rip their throats out and laugh. But even then... They don't deserve it. Cannonball! And Victor jumps into the hot spring with all of you. The water going everywhere. Maybe Damien's rules were good. <laughs> He's not there to enforce it. Oh, shoot. He's not there to enforce it. <laughs> ah! It feels amazing! And the other people in the hot spring get out and move to another pool. <laughs> all right! And he sits across from the two of you. Whew. So... Shion, not you two. Stop it. Stop. Stop. I think you should ask, Victor. There's been some interesting developments. It's been 10 years. I assume mm -hmm. at this point. Come on. <laughs> 10 years. It's been a decade. Eden sinks under the water like Ace did when she was in the other hot springs. She was watching the both of them. Victor... Unlike you, I think before I act. All right? Now simmer down, okay? We're having a conversation over here. Eden goes all the way under the water because she is like, ouch. <laughs> I expected it. It's fine. 
Eden? Hello, under there. You see bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> he like goes down to the water. Eden, he's calling through the water. What? Hi. Hi. Hello. It's good to see you guys again. Can I tell you guys something that I didn't tell the other dudes? Sure. I really don't remember much. Well, that was a statue. A Greek god. But... I do remember one thing. It's just kind of like an emotion more than anything else. Cold. Almost the feeling you get when you feel like there's nobody who cares about you. And I'm saying that because that loneliness I felt when I got out of that statue and I learned that it had been years you all were climbing on the L train. It for the first time, it felt like maybe there wasn't a place for me anymore on this team. I mean, I can find a place in any other team, but that wouldn't be nearly as much fun. I'm not gonna lie, it didn't feel great. So when I saw you all again, despite all that you probably went through. I really was happy to see you guys again. Well, we're glad to see you too. And she'll take the necklace off and hand it to him. You'll want Tear Seth to put that back. Is this a piece of my soul? Seems kind of important. I'll make sure yeah, he gets might... it. Yeah, he might want that back. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Hmm. Oh, man, this spring, it does feel phenomenal. <sighs> and he just, like, puts his head back and is smiling, closing his eyes. She only, like, looks at you, Eden, and just kind of smiles and shakes her head. I think Eden would look kind of sad at that revelation. Well, tell us about your uh, adventures with old Iseer. Adventures with old Iseer? Ooh, it's been kind of fun. I've been getting to know them a little bit. Old Fish's breath is Horrible. That was my first impression. My god. But his ability does involve shooting Shinsu out of his mouth. What else should I expect? Aside from him, Gorfin's cool. Gorfin's cool. His outfit designs, while not my taste, are pretty, you know, pretty. Uh, hello? And he looks up. You hear footsteps behind you, Eden. Woo, when you're down there, you realize that uh, someone's missing when you look around. And someone's not there at one point. Hans walks up to you. Aki! Oh. Hey, Aki! Aki! Yeah. Ha, yes. She'll turn around in the water and... Can I have Victor roll perception? Super high roll. Cool. No. I would say... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that... Um, he would see a big scar up her back from where the blue titan got her when she and Astrid were going to shoot cameras out. So that's that's a new addition to her collection. It's the what scar that want, I'm so, I missed that last part. The scar that was acquired oh. when? When the blue titan yeah, got okay. her when she pulled Astrid. Got yeah. it. Got it. She well, she blocked for Astrid. Sure, sure. Yes, Hans. I really like and, you. And like you can see like I really she, like she's you. she's ha huh? That's really sweet. You want to go like on a you. date with me? Uh, we can go Hans, to the have movies. You have you been no, drinking? That's not what I meant, Hans. That's not what I meant. 
Have you been drinking? And Victor's just like, his arms are crossed and he's just like shaking his head with this huge grin. Drinking? Yeah. I have been. Uh huh. And... You have a lot of liquid courage in you right now. Yeah, maybe. Do you know what you're? Do you know what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> you do. Yeah, I do. Okay, that's really okay. Uh, hey Hans, we're gonna go back to the ship. All right, and you're gonna get some. You're gonna get some rest. Okay, and she only like gets up. Uh, actually, hey Hugo, <laughs> and she like motions over. Hugo is just chilling in his hot spring. He gets up. Hey, could you could you help? And she's like talking to Hugo. No, but but yeah, Aki. I just wanted you to know that because you're really cool. Well, you're very sweet, and you know, yeah. I think I need a little more decompression time after everything mm -hmm. that's happened. Mm -hmm. But we'll we'll figure we'll figure things out in the future. Okay. Okay, that sounds great. Okay. You should probably get some rest in a new shirt because I think you've thrown up on yourself. Yeah, I did. Woo helped me out a bit. It was really cool. Oh, that's concerning. <laughs> sure. Okay, so that means we was drinking again. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, why don't you and nice Mr. Hugo and mm -hmm. Miss Shion? Mm -hmm. Miss Shion, are you going to? Yeah, I'll, gonna... I'll, I'll go. Yeah. They're going to help you back, and they're going to help you get some rest. Okay. And you can say hi to the Duke before you turn in. That's, he, I bet he, that's a great yeah. idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. And you can tell, like, she's, like, customer service face, like, yeah. super, like, <laughs> trying to let him down easy. Oops. Yeah, got you, got you. Okay, so why don't you go do that? Okay. Yep. I will. Okay. And like he's leaning on Hugo. And Ooh. make and make sure you put your your sewing needles and sewing kit on the nightstand before you lay down. Okay? Before I lay down. I don't want to get mm -hmm. another hole in my stomach. Right. Understood. That would be very good if you didn't, okay? Okay. Okay. Good night, Aki. Good night, Hans. Make sure Ryobe comes back too soon. We, we sure will. Okay. And they they just leave, and Victor's just like. <laughs> it, I'll say I'll say while this is happening, yeah. Cause he's like on Victor's shoulder, like just like tackling, like with his hands <laughs> over his mouth, just laughing along with Victor. <laughs> Dude, did that just happen? Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! And he just kind of like pats his face and he's like pointing and laughing. Aki, wow, uh, look at you. At least I came up with an alias. Well, I had help, but yeah, I had one, you know. <laughs> Mr. Kuhn, I gotta go. You gotta go? No, that's what you said earlier, ding dong. Sorry, when did I say that? When, when we got on the ship, idiot. So when the person asks okay. who you were, you're like, I'm okay. Kuhn. I gotta I go. I can explain. I'm so uh -huh. used to being this integral part of the team that I never even considered the fact that if I told them my name, I could get in trouble. See, I'm just, I'm used to, I'm not gonna lie, it sucks not being on the same floor as you guys. I, I shouldn't even be here. I'm cheating being here. You know what I mean? Ooh, the Shinsu pressure. It's so, oh my God. <sighs> I have traveled between floors before. You told me that at the workshop. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. It's not, but there's a lot of floors. And um, I wanted to tell you not to wait for me. Go get Leaf. Keep climbing. I'm sure we'll meet up again at some point. But there's no obligation for you guys to have to wait for my slow ass to catch back up. Well, even if we wanted to wait, I don't think Iseer would let us anyway. You spent some time with them, right? I did. What'd you think? They were... There when I needed somebody. But I don't know for what intentions. I don't know if it was to get their pillar or god back on track so that things didn't derail, or if it was out of genuine concern. So I don't know. They seem genuine, but... 
I was in a bad place. They were the only ones you could turn to. Because the rest of Team Recall wasn't there. I wasn't there. <laughs> For a statue, you seem to know more than you should. No, I mean, I can read it all over your face. Why else would you turn to ice here? Well, they're supposed to be our keepers and watchers and our overlords. But I don't know. I just, right now, I'm pretty cross with them. I mean, obviously, happy that you are not the way I last saw you. Um, yeah. But they're kind of messing with Ace, and I don't like that. So. I did hear about that. She's traveling with one of the knights. Kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're really Dude thinks he's an irregular. <laughs> I know. That's funny. I mean, hey, father's an irregular, right? Pfft, anything's possible at this point. That's the thing. I don't feel like I got a heading on much of anything anymore. Yeah. Pretty directionless. Also, I want to clarify something, actually. I want to clarify something. I don't think the term... Have we used the term irregular in the series before? Because I think... Well, didn't Starman try to tell us? Starman said, said it. He said he's from yeah, outside yeah. the tower. I don't know if he yeah. actually said he was an no, irregular. No, he said like, the word irregular. He said the Did word he? irregular. Uh, yeah, because yeah. then we were using it, and people were like, ain't no way he's an irregular. Like, I don't know if he's an irregular. All right. Starman. I'm pretty guilty. sure he, he started to say this it. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he started to say it, but like, uh, I feel okay. like anybody. I remember, but. I'll... Well, I mean, Eden yeah, is also I, part of I'm a great like... family. She would know what a regular well, are. Well, there's her... a conversation about like, when was the term a regular even invented? So I was making oh, sure. I was oh, making oh, sure. oh, 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 oh. It's all your fault, Starman. <laughs> That's way, that's way it too. It is mm -mm. all your fault. All right, cool. Okay. Well, I'll, we'll just, I'll backtrack and retcon and say he said he came from outside the tower. Just, we'll just say it like sure. that. Sure. I'll, I'll go back and check. But... Okay. Gotcha. That is That's kind of like, oh, that's that's ridiculous. He came from outside the tower? Yeah, that's a little goofy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, either way, it's weird. They're both shadier than I would have thought and also more human than I would have thought. It's like... They consider themselves a family, and yet a family of cultists. So, yeah, no, still a cult. That's a fair way to put it. Yeah. So what are your plans? My plans? Hurry up and catch up so that I can join you all again. I'll have to climb twice as fast, and even if I'm lucky, maybe I'll catch you on, like, floor 60 or something. That'll be a long time. Yeah. You have my pocket number, right? Oh, yeah, I think you're still blocked. Ugh. I gotta fix that. Yeah, we should probably fix that. You're not blocked on my end. So, uh, you know. It's not like you could answer, though. We... <laughs> answer in the future right anyway i'm glad we could chat it's been good and uh, you're clearly you know we'll talk more later we'll have more chances to talk victor we're not going to have more chances to talk percy said they're going to figure that stuff out in a day so if you have anything to say just say it dude Okay. I'm too old and tired for this stuff. Oh, you're not old. Victor, I am so old. Look at my hair. That doesn't die. It turned gray. It's pretty. You need your eyes checked. Tearset didn't quite heal. get you healed up enough then. <laughs> I guess all I want to say is... Now more than ever, I am so grateful... And I don't want to distance myself anymore. I don't want to hide anything. I don't want to seem like I'm the guy that's always doing his own thing. If we're going to be a true team, I want to fix that part of myself. And he puts on a smile. 
Well, I guess we should come clean then, because in that whole hell train fiasco thing, we saw a glimpse of your past, and I think it was because I had that necklace. Then I figured you should probably know that we know a little bit about you. That, because you were very uncomfortable with not saying anything before. What'd you see? We saw your origins. We saw you dropped off at a brothel and the people that took you in and how you got your name, you growing up, getting in trouble for playing a game. And when the lady who took you in, your mother, passed away. I see. That's all you saw? That's it. Well, there you go. The origins of the noble Kuhn Victor are not as illustrious as you may have once thought. I'm no prince. I'm no aristocrat at my core. And that's that, huh? Everyone saw? That's fine with me. I'm glad, actually. It's something I probably would have wanted to talk about at some point. I don't want to be under the false impression that I'm more important than I claim to be. I don't think we ever thought that. I just felt like we pried before we should have. Nah. I just didn't want to admit that I, the great and noble Kuhn Victor, son of Kuhn Edwan, Yeah, anyway. I'm glad you saw it. It's an excuse to, like I said, be more out in the open. And I'm glad you told me. Anytime. And around this time, everybody would be receiving a notification on their pockets from Percy saying that whenever you get a chance... Make your way back to the pod. Well, looks like that's our cue to go. We are being summoned. Yes, sir, Percy. I will. I will follow your orders, Percy. Let's go. Everybody receives the same notification. Does everybody start heading back? Well, Brack, I think we've got to take our dessert to go. Get the bucket. Sec <clears throat> One second, Frog. Hey, Ro. Are you talking to Ro. me? <laughs> oh, Robin? <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> she just looks at you. I'm sorry. We got off on the wrong foot. It's just I've been on that train and all I've had to eat was pretty much imaginary food. I get a little hangry and I apologize. Did you enjoy your 16 ounce steak? Was it good? Simon looks at her. I think she's trying to say it was good. I think she forgives you. Good. Brack puts a thumbs up. All right, now, what was that, Frog? I'm, I'm saying we got... Percy, is, uh, he wants us to meet up, so we got to take dessert to go. Ah. Uh, little perk. All right, let's, let's go see what he wants. All right. Start to leave. Can I fill a lighthouse with apple pie? Of course, of course you can. Of course you can. Wu, do you want to say something? Uh, I was gonna say Wu is just gonna gr drag Ryobi out of the theater. And that's but, 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 we're not even at intermission yet. Uh, it's, it's you. We'll catch it again another no, time. No chance. Hell did Hans go? The... This is. I'm never inviting you two out again. <laughs> great, 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 great. Zygus is waiting. Zygus portals you back 
to the pod, and you all start. Eden to continues again. to flip him off every oh, time cool. she sees him. Yep. Thank you for making sure that was clear. And yeah, you're able to all kind of reconvene. It's definitely like night. It's probably like 9 p.m. at this point, and um. It's 9 p.m. in real life, Joe. For you, yeah, it's true. That's true. <laughs> Look at that. First thing I want to say, says Bool, you'll have more chances to go explore the rest after we have this meeting. That's fine. You're going to be here, I'm sure, a few days before you want to keep climbing. Percy. Thank goodness. He looks at Duke. So Duke and Percy, they both look pretty tired. It looks like they've been working on something for the past few hours. <laughs> and even though they look tired, they both look like they've 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 at least they look confident enough to call this meeting together. First thing I want to say is that I've been caught up to speed. I know the deal with Duke and the Archduke and all that. And Duke kind of like looks down. I hope, um Right, so with that said, it seems as though the Archduke's research has led to this one conclusion. As somebody who studied alternate planes of existence, we only have theories about this realm where demons live. Obviously, Father's wife came from there, but she never talked about it to him, apparently. All we can go off of is what happened on the 30th floor. And he looks at Bool, and as we know, Kyrie showed up. Roses opened a portal for Kyrie on the 30th floor, and Kyrie arrived. But Zygus, and he motions over to Zygus. <sighs> Roses, when he copies his abilities, they're only able to copy a fraction of it. This is the first time I've ever seen Roses do something that even I can't do. And he like creates a portal. No matter what I do, what tricks I pull, I'm not able to access that plane. <laughs> he like zips it shut. It's almost like you need an ace in your sleeve. Listen, we can talk about ace. We can talk about it. You want to? I can cheer you up if you want to. You want to keep? You want some chocolate? A trick? You want to see a magic trick? Do I look like a dog to you? You want me to bark and spin in a circle? I mean, listen, I'm not the one. I'm not the one claiming to be uh, in the animal kingdom here. <clears throat> we'll talk. You know, you could create a portal for you know her and Siliong, and so they could see each we other. That would be talk really cool. About Ace. Right now, mm -hmm. we're trying to save your other friend. Move on, Percy, please. Third dismissal noted. It's like, it's understandable. Eden literally has his hands. <laughs> okay, good. Cool, cool, cool. Pet petty mode <laughs> extreme activated. Psychus <laughs> is like at this point, like any any smiles. He's just like looking away from you. You know. The point stands. He's unable to create a portal to that world. So I, I'm wondering, Eden, please, I'm trying to hold a meeting here. Like, listen, I understand you don't like him. Sorry. But... I'm sorry, Percy. Thank I'm you. Sorry. Thank you. So why is that? If Rose is in the past is unable to do something that surpasses the original owner's power, why? If, uh, I don't know how these portals all work, but... I assume uh, Zygus has never been to this demon realm. He shakes his head. Probably, uh, maybe Roses has and can tune into that frequency. Hmm. That is a maybe, or maybe Zygus was... can get there. Then maybe he can make a portal. Or maybe was created from something from that plane. He was created by the workshop, right, Percy? Yeah, he was. But as far as I know, nobody's able to access that plane. Like, nobody's been there and lived to tell the tale. I don't know how Most even the workshop would have access to that. Eden looks at Simon and Robin like, hmm. 
Jung? That's not true. Kyrie has been there. To and back. That's Somebody true. has been to that place. And he was working with Roses. And father's wife. Kyrie was just a kid when he lived there. And when he went back, the only time we'd seen him since was on the 30th floor. We never got the chance to ask him about it. Percy, can I ask a quick question? Sure. What condition is Tirsa's wife in? Um, that's not something I would like to talk about. He looks I'm very just, uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, don't, I don't know about that one. I'm just one. wondering if Rose is turned into her. And that's how he got the information. Uh, mother she's dead I don't think roses would have been able to do so he kind of like froze his eyebrows I see yeah can I inside check the yep Yeah. Alright, cool. 15. Eh, there's a slight hint of like maybe some kind of like, hmm, is Eden right? Is there a hint of like maybe he can copy someone's ability even after they've died? He he doesn't know that for sure. But there's some kind of un hesitation. Regardless, I asked this and Duke. There's one thing I know for sure. When studying that place that exists in the Hell Train, there's only one entrance. One way in, one way out. And the Archduke had a theory about that. That the same applies to all realms. He had this wacky notion of a fairy realm. I don't know much about that. Maybe a realm where administrators come from. But regardless, this realm of demons, where these creatures live, and from there make contracts with people. He believed there was only one way in, one entrance. Just like every other place, just like that place on the Hell Train. But the problem with that is, Zygus has tried to access it on the 30th floor and it hasn't worked. Same spot. So that's where this data comes in. And he pushes forward like a ton of sheets of paper that he's just like jotted some information on. And he like, he hands them out to everybody. And when you pick them up and look at it, you see a chart of items, apples, even Shinwei. You know, apples, creatures, all kinds of things, sort of like having relations to dates, years, tracking the status of these objects. These are all objects that the Archduke thought were linked to that world. And when you look at the data, you all notice that on some of these times, if you take the apple, for example, the apple stayed in pristine condition for a very long time, for years. You're kind of looking at that data. And then he points out, take a look after that. Within just a day, that apple rotted. Gone. It was as if it was in perfect condition and then ceased to even exist. This got me thinking. Time flows differently there. It has to. At times, slower. And at times, exponentially faster. Wait, 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 wait. At times, it changes? Yeah. Objects that would giggle at you or had this presence, unlike Shinsu. 
These objects that people made contracts with and said the voice would speak to them. The state of their existence would change depending on the year and the time. So as you all can see, and he motions to all the pieces of paper, I've charted that out. And what does that mean? Is the data consistent enough to tell you if right now things are slow or fast? About that, good news and bad. You were lucky. If this is true, by the time she entered, time was slower. But we're approaching a time where it's becoming even with ours once more. And then he points to the apple and to the chart down at the bottom. In about 10 years, you may think it's slow now, maybe half the time that we experience. 10 years from now, if this data is correct, every day that passes by for us here will be years within that world. We obviously can't let that happen. We essentially so, have a less than 10 year deadline. So roughly, years? uh... You're not serious. How long would... How old would Leaf be right now, considering the time that passed in this world? It's been about 10 years, right? Uh, yeah, he looks, give or take. He looks at Duke. Well, it has to be about four or five years for her. I see. That's still a long time. I mean... I don't give a shit about this arbitrary deadline. What can we do to access the plane? This was the most difficult part. And honestly, it revolves around a theory. So, bear with us. If the Archduke is right, and he motions to Duke, and Duke Iver misses, he's correct. And this data is accurate. He thinks. I think it moves around. I don't think it's present throughout the tower. I think the gateway moves. And I think we can figure out where it'll be next. Because I think it's in accordance with the time that passes. There's another reason for this. I, he almost looks proud for a second, but he kind of, I, I, I did this thing where I asked Flux Falk to see if she sensed anything in the ship after Kyrie left. And she said she did. She didn't tell me exactly what it felt like, but then I asked her to travel around a bit and see if she felt that presence anywhere else, that same feeling. And she sent me all that data. It's another reason, he looks at you, Damien, it's another reason why she's out on a mission and she's been gone for a very long time. Yeah, that's all good. So, if I'm understanding everything correctly, this uh, gateway, it travels around a lot, and we're trying to calculate exactly where we need to uh, be to enter. Or is there some way we can lock it down? I'm not sure about locking it down, but... This data is very consistent. The time, the energy that she was feeling, that whatever your you know, your girlfriend, whatever she was finding. It's all pointing to the fact that this entrance moves around at the same pace, never changing. And if I'm right, and he points to like some maps, it's always ten, thirty. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, and then it cycles. And as it goes further, that's when time becomes unbearably fast. And 
this is probably why Kyrie especially hated us after he left. He was probably in there for, if it was hundreds of years for us, it was probably hundreds of thousands for him. I'll cut to the chase. I think I know where it'll be next. I think we can get there within 10 years. And you, he points at Zygus, I think even you can access it. Maybe with a bit of help from his girlfriend, he points at Damien. <laughs> Yay. I think if Flux Valk and Zygus work together, and he points at the map. Floor 50. That's our best shot. 10 years, floor 50. In a location with Zygus and uh, Fluxfall. That's it. So, I mean, we just have to climb to floor 50 and wait for the 10 year mark to pass. Go through the portal, find Leaf, get out. Assuming Zygus will be able to get us out, right? You'll be joining us? I'll be joining you. If you'll have me. Looks at Eden. Wait a minute. Uh. Floor 50 is not a small place. How do you know exactly where the portal is? That's... That's the tough part. We don't exactly know where the portal will be. We have a very general assumption that it'll be in the outer tower. Which means... Depending on how you look at it, either more dangerous or less chance of you being spotted by a Jihad official. It's going to be in some unclaimed territory, or at least mildly uncharted territory. There's apparently something on the maps that talk about a kingdom of some kind, but regardless, the location doesn't matter as much. The precise location. Theoretically, in the demon realm, let's say we bring items from here, there. Items that have spatial properties and temporal properties. Would that still have effect there? You're absolutely on the right track. According to what we were talking about, those objects that have these links, they keep appearing. And, um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but I hope you all don't think this is stupid of me that I did this, but he looks at Glorfin and Glorfin nods and brings forward like a lockbox, hands it to Percy. And he opens it up. And inside is a purple vine that's like twisting around. This was a bit of something that Leaf left behind. It's what helped what us it determine exactly? the exact time calculation. It's a bit of her power that was left behind. You can have it if you want. He closes the box. Maybe it'll help you in some way. If you can find more objects on floor 50, to have that kind of connection, I think it'll be better for Zygus and Fluxhawk. So you're saying we might be able to use that bit of her power as sort of like a locator beacon? Pinpoint the exact location of the portal? Sort of like an excuse to get it open. As in, it's a piece that never should have been left behind in the first place. Percy, you mind if I hang on to the box? Please, I really didn't think it would end up being important, but I'm glad it did. Hey, Victor. Yeah. Thanks for babysitting Pigsy. I'll take it back now. Of course. I hope you don't mind. I actually left Pigsy with old fish for a little while. You did what? <laughs> well, listen, you kind of gave you one job. <laughs> Don't worry, I used to run a farm back in the day. Oh, I don't <laughs> care what you did, old man. Give me my pig. 
There you go. Tigsy looks frightened. <laughs> I'm sorry. Trauma. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway. I heard his breath stinks. <laughs> the more objects, the better. It'll strengthen your connection to the other plane. Yeah, so, I mean, it seems relatively straightforward. Um, Fluxfolk will be how we can sense where the portal is going to be. The more objects we have, we can kind of more uh, or less pinpoint where it's going to be. Right. And then we can use uh, Leaf's Vine, hopefully, to find Leaf inside of, well, hell. And then Zygus will help us get out. Does that seem like it's uh, okay? Easy yeah, spot. Two issues. One, we gotta make sure that we're at the fiftieth floor within that time frame, which we don't have a lot of time to rest at that. Rate. I actually had a thought about that. I think there's a way to speed up your climb. Do you tell. Okay. Looking at all of you now, it's pretty clear that the Hell Train wasn't exactly friendly to you. You're all really talented, don't get me wrong. But I think there is so much untapped strength that if you were able to achieve, your climb would be as smooth as silk. You could spend the next 10 years trying to get to that floor, by all means. But what I think would be faster is taking a couple of years to hone your skills. I'm suggesting you stay here for a little while and we train you. I think if we all train together, hone some of your abilities, maybe even the fate stuff if you want to start to dive into that more, I think you can get to floor 50 in a breeze. Let's be honest, it's after floor 70 territory that the climb becomes egregiously slow. What do you think we've been doing out here, Bull? Taking it easy? I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's very clear that there is so much room to grow for all of you. So, we have a little less than 10 years to make it to this floor. And do you want us to just sit here and train? Not the whole time, of course. But if you were trying to, I don't know, wait for a certain somebody, he looks at Victor. Oh, come on, you don't think that'll work out, do you? As if you don't think you can push hard enough to make it here in a couple years. I think he absolutely could. The whole train's gonna go back down to floor 35. All he has to do is climb to floor 35. A couple years later, he's caught up. During that time, you could train with us. Then you all climb together. Make it to floor 50, save Leaf, Story's over. And we all get a happy ending, right, Bull? Wouldn't that be nice? Hmm. Remember what we talked about, Bull? <laughs> You're being straight with me, right? I'm being straight. Blue turns to John. This would get us some time to sort a few things out if they're telling the truth. And it gives them plenty of time to dig their claws deeper into our team. That's on us to mitigate, but we're going to need contingency plans in place going further. And there's a limit to what we can do alone, as much as it pains me to admit it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like it. Gives them too much leverage here, especially with Victor. What do you think, then? What's the alternative? Well... 
it's usually more than one way to crack an egg, right? So we tell Aesir what they want. Stay here for a little while. All the while, we look for an alternative way to get to floor 50 as fast as possible. I'm with it, leader. It's exactly what I was thinking. Like I said, when I said we need contingencies in place, I didn't mean ice here. I meant we need time to form our own. I think this is the best shot that we've got. I just don't want to play into their hands anymore. We're still in the palm. We haven't escaped it yet. Trust me, I know what it's like to dance in the palm of somebody else's hand, even when you reach for the sky. Well, guess we're gonna have to play nice for now. I'll sit here and train, but I'll do some digging on my end to see if I can't find an alternate route. I reached out to a few people before we get done on the train. It's time I check in with them as well. Can I ask, is this just Jong and Wu, or is this kind of like a team recall huddle? Uh, I mean, I don't mind if anybody else is privy to it, but this is just like, it went on longer than I thought, but it was just me okay. turning to Jong to make a comment. Sure. Well, here's a question above the table. I mean, they say we can stay, but... We could feasibly just go on our own to floor 50. I mean, we yeah. don't have to listen. Well, I think their claim is that we take too long getting there because we're not strong enough. I think it doesn't hurt to take a second to to regroup. At we don't yeah. have to abide by their schedule at all. But, like, yeah. but just I mean, tell them that we will. If our whole thing is like we don't want to go by Icier's, uh, you know, we, we don't want them to have leverage. I mean, we can just. If we really don't want them to have leverage, we can just forego. They already it. have it. No, but they already. Ha no, that's not what we're saying. They already have leverage. Like they, there's nothing we can realistically do, right? It's just like it's easier I mean, to just go we, along with what they're saying. There is a lot of things we can do. We we don't have to go with what they say if we're really bothered by that. I mean. What is your? It, what would you suggest? Heat, right. Well, what would you just suggest? Go, we can go up on our own, and then meet them. No, no, no. But what they're saying doesn't bother. That. Like what they're saying is logical. It just sucks that like, like it it serves their purposes as well. But like, it is what it is. I don't think they're wrong. It serves us too. But I mean, right? Exactly. So I don't think I don't I don't see it as a problem. It just sucks that I we gotta go along. With it. Well, it's a, it's a problem or it's not. What is, what is it's it? not a. What I'm saying is, well, all I'm saying is, in the sense fact, that, like we're playing into their hand. It's not a problem though. Like I'm down to do. It's a problem in the sense that, like, us training here with them gives them more time to acclimate us to their cult here, especially if they're trying to train us to use our fate powers more. All the while holding Victor here as leverage of like, oh, if you stay here, you get to if, team up uh, with Victor sooner. Hey Joe. Yeah. If we take the ice here offer. I like to stay on the floor. Yeah. They're, we're, are we being acclimated to their cult? <laughs> well, they're not going to so... tell you. That's not, that's not, what, we're saying, that's not what we're saying, bro. Well, that's like, not what we're saying. Well, like, if you want an answer, it's, there's no harm in asking Joe, right? Um, I'll say that you're going to spend more time with them, you know? You'll, yeah. you'll spend time with the pawns and some of the knights, and, you know, you can maybe pick training partners and that kind of thing. Yeah. It's up to you if you want to get, you know, if you become acclimated or not. I think it's more likely just, that you would be. Let's just simplify it, right? Like, regardless of the reasons. I vote to stay, right? Let, let's just simplify it. Because I think that's I mean, the Joe, do you have any more, like, reason? Huh? Like, is there any other... Um, you just don't want to... You're saying your option is to well, kind of... If, if I, I just want to... If people have a problem with working with right. us here, like, I, I want to present other options, gotcha. you know? Yeah. Because if, if people have such a big problem with them, I mean, we don't have to work with them, right? Yeah. Like, it's it's T&D. We're not railroaded. Nope. And so. let's keep it as an above the conversation, above the table thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Milios, you know, Hannah, right? Let's all kind of, like, figure that out first. It'd be, kind of be easier before figuring it out in character. Um, what would be your opinions? I um. mean... Oh, go ahead, Melios. You, you talk first. No, no, no. You go first. No. 
<laughs> Milios, the mic is Say yours. No. The mic is yours, Milios. <laughs> oh, uh, I think Brack would be all for it. He sees them as harmless. What about you, though, Milios? What you think is better, more important? What, who would consider? Like you. Oh, me? You. The player? Yeah. Yeah, you. That's what really matters. Oh, either way, Brock going train over these 10 years. It, it don't matter with who. Yeah. So you don't have, you don't have much of a really, preference. Like, it, it's pretty much, it's more so for the people who have a, a higher grudge with them than I do. Yeah. You can, uh... Hannah? Yes. Uh... I mean, Eden doesn't have too strong of an opinion. What about Hannah? Though? She wants, well, I, I think above the table that doing things that will allow us more time for failure in case, uh, you know, uh, it will, I should say, doing things that will help us be the most prepared so failure goes down seems like a smarter idea than trying to hoof it on our own especially with all the heat on us after the the hell train um i don't really feel like getting chased around by other teams so maybe taking some time off makes the most sense and kind of keeping under under wraps so we're not disturbed in going after leaf because if we've got teams coming after our butts every five seconds you know they could destroy the the items that we're looking for they could make us you know our surveying worse if we could get a little heat off of us while getting stronger, we breeze to the floors like Bull said. I feel like that's a that's probably the the most like efficient option. But again, like if people do have strong, you know, feelings against ice here, I'm willing to entertain all all options. I think we're all on the same page then. Like I don't see an issue. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's fine with me. It's just, you know, if people were complaining about Ice here, like I just No, well, like that whole that discussion was like in character though. It wasn't like a player perspective, bro. Like it's like no, it, it should be a player like, perspective. No, I get I get you, but I yeah, thought like no, you were bringing it up because of what was said. Well, that it, might like be my everyone was saying like, "Oh, Ice is we don't want to have them have leverage, so don't I my my idea was just to okay then let's not yeah it sounds right? like our, th our thing is riskier no, but potentially but that was a character a reward uh, yeah yeah, yeah no well yeah. character like it shouldn't no i see what like, you're saying but all i'm no, saying is that like i said what i, I, I said like, and yeah I st like above the table and in character i still want to align with ice it sounds That's like the um the, the icier problem doesn't really apply here right. above the table right whatever below the table was said so right yeah exactly yeah totally it makes sense uh so kind of like with that perspective in mind percy would kind of present all that information talk about all like the the theory behind all this and duke's confidence and say what do you all do you all agree with fool's proposal I think getting heat off of us makes the most sense. Okay. But I'm not the leader. That's just my opinion. Damien. I'm kind of liking the idea of going off on our own. Banking on yourself, you know? <laughs> the greater the risk, the greater the reward. Um, I'm okay with anything, though. I just like, ha like having the uh, option, you know? Yeah, I mean, anytime you guys want to go, you can go. So you don't feel like you're bound to stay here with us. You can always go whenever you want to. Hell yeah, brother. I understand. I like that. But honestly, staying would be nice to choose a teacher. Kind of deal. Maybe we could even call other people from ICR in. That'd be so cool. I mean, efficient for training. Um, could I call my workshop teacher, Joseph? Maybe. We could talk about it. All right, John. Whatever we decide, I don't care. Cool. We're good. I believe in us. Yeah. 
I'll stay for a bit. Brack? Who's doing the training? Who, who do you want to train with you? I think you get to choose. Yeah, it could be any of us. Well, not you, Bull. Definitely don't want the witch. Um, Little perk. Yeah? You seem like you'll be a good training partner. Me? You want to train with me? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we can we can train together. That'd be that that'd be fine with me. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. All right, would, yeah. you'll be very useful. One of the most useful things I'll need is you can let me know if I'm getting a move correctly by looking into the future. I can try my best. <laughs> the perfect plan. Oh, <laughs> uh, what about you, Wu? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Whatever gets us to the goal fastest. But, like I told you before, I got my requests. What is your request? We'll talk. Okay. The alliance won't be the name, though. That's the number Please, one. Please, I thing. don't want that to be the name. There's a lot cooler name we could pick for that. Um, What about you, two? I agree. If we can leave whenever we choose, right? We're not locked in here with that iron bar, right? We can take that off. Yeah, we can We can take good, okay? Just making sure. And we choose our training partners. He nods. Fine by me. What everyone else said. And the Duke stands up. Me, Hans, and Ryobe will heading back to Train City, finding the rest of the band of bones. We're gonna. <laughs> I was doing the same thing, but I don't got a left, camera. But okay, brother, do what you gotta do. <laughs> we're gonna find everybody, and we're gonna create a goal Gosh. together. And if that goal means dominating this tower, we'll dominate this tower. If it means making the band of bones greater than a great family, why? I think that'd be pretty fun to chase after. And he looks into the sky at the roof. Isn't that right? So, that's our plan. Okay, then it's decided. We're all in agreement. Victor, you're going to have to climb fast, okay? You're telling me that I'll get to climb with these guys in just a few years? Hell yeah! And he, like, goes to, like, give you a hug, Damien. Woo! Let's go, dude! The get the team is back! Yes, my fellow I'm happy fleshy to be friend. here. It is good to have you here. Please don't call me fleshy. Ah, oh, so good to be here. Ah. Oh. You know, you're quite fleshy yourself, Damien. Excuse me? Yeah. Well, we're all human, you know? We're all fleshy. Uh. <clears throat> uh, Vic. Uh, <laughs> don't say that again. Just for the kids. There are kids around, you know, you see a little perk over there, like. I'm a few hundred years old, though. Hey, you're older than my child. <laughs> He's not. He's an adult. Well, sounds like Team Recall's got a plan. So, we got work to do. And, of course, more time to enjoy the resort. Wouldn't want to take that away from you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I guess we're wrapping this up, huh? Cause Let's wrap it up. Leap of faith. I've got Leap of Faith in like five minutes. <laughs> so Understood. We'll wrap things up here. Thanks, everybody. And thank you to the Archduke. Duke of Bones. Happy to help. And I've already said all my goodbyes. <laughs> we'll leave in just a couple days. Right? Yes, boss! Says Ryobe. Hans is not there. He is sleeping. <laughs> so, just for the record. 
Just like in the dollhouse, <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> the meeting has ended, and you all prepare for your upcoming adventure. This is the chance. If you have just small, whatever you want to do here, this is the time. I did roll perception to see if Bull was actually healed or in better condition oh, like a roll? million years oh, ago. I forgot about that. I rolled an 18. Yeah, so um, he like, he's like pretty same. He's pretty similar to before, um, mm-hmm. but you notice he uh, looks more tired more tired yeah that's like the biggest difference i would say and okay. he, he's not you haven't seen him like he's not moving around very quickly you know yeah. he's taking his time so. well honestly we haven't seen him upright <laughs> since so right so, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. okay so he's he's at least yep stable enough to be upright but he's still not great okay okay, right. okay. that's what you're gathering okay i have one small mm-hmm. thing but... yep and i received a message too so we'll uh we'll do your thing first hannah Okay. Um, I'm guessing the evening is coming to an yes. end. Okay. This will be very sh- short. Well, the the determination of length is on your end, but Eden would go and talk to Victor again. Oh. Privately. Well, well, well. <sighs> if it isn't Eden... Couldn't bear to be apart for so long. Because hmm. <laughs> I couldn't. Victor, we've... I couldn't. Being a statue was, it sucked. It sucked. I'm not going to lie. It was horrible. I, it was a bad feeling. And, uh, I, I thought you, you said it was a blink of an eye. It, it, w- it was, but it sucked. It's hard to explain. It's like, you know, it's like when you have like a bad dream. And it's like, mm-hmm. it's, it can be over sometimes pretty quick. But like, man, I didn't like it very much. <laughs> well, that's what I came to ask. I was too wrapped up in myself earlier but I just wanted to ask how are you doing with everything that's happened I already kind of said my innermost fears earlier truly though without the bravado I'm a little embarrassed you know that I couldn't have been the one to tell y'all about how cool Morgan was. You can always tell us that story from your perspective. I'd be happy to. I think there's a lot of stories to tell. <laughs> well, whenever you're ready. And if you need a ever chat about anything else if you're having trouble with the the time timey wiminess that you went through I can't imagine that was easy thanks a lot Eden. I really appreciate it anytime have a good night it was good to see you all again good night He looks like he wants to talk more, but he's going to kind of save it for maybe um, all the stories, all the things to share when he catches back up. He uh, He's hesitant at the moment to share, but uh, he does seem happy. She'll just notice. Smiles. She'll notice this hesitation. And she'll go over and hug him. After a couple seconds, he'll return the hug. Then no words need to be shared. Okay. Okay. We got a couple little things here from a couple more players. So, John, I'll cut to you. You got a little thing here? Yes. This will be after the hug. You want to, you want to, you want to, you want to pop on over to Big Bro. I understand. <laughs> Oh, we can have them pass. That'll be funny. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're gonna go. You're gonna go talk to Victor, and you just see him and him hugging Eden. 
I'm gonna try and just hang out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Texas watch. You know. <laughs> I mean, eventually, you know. Eden. No, uh, she'll. Yeah. It, she she wouldn't linger yeah, in the hug yeah, too too yeah, long. Yeah, she was just yeah. like, it was all, it was mainly for her to make sure like he wasn't like still stony in any way, shape, or form. So she was. Just, oh yeah. He's, making sure he was okay, and yeah, then she would just she just turn and leave without saying anything. Okay. Oh, sorry. And she'll just walk by Jong. Well, she'll say that to Jong, and then sit, start walking by. Jong just kind of leans in on the doorway. The great Coon Victor. How did I? I want a vice here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta that's say, nothing. I've heard some tragedies in the tower, but that one is just... I know you're like a big shot leader of your team now, <laughs> which you are, right? I know you're a big shot leader, but you are not one to talk. You're still single, man. That is sad. That is so sad. I'm sorry, I hear you talking. I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to tell people this story. I mean, it's such mm -hmm. a tragic tale. Right. There once was a coon who thought he was so pompous and arrogant that he was better than everyone in the tower. And now, he's just another worker for Aesir. <laughs> it really hurts. That would be tragic if it was true, which it's not. Have a good night, Jong. It's so good to see you, though, little bro. Anything else you want to get off your chest? Yeah, actually. I mean, physically you look pretty fit, you know. You could do a little more cardio, probably. Okay. But, uh, you know, Damn. otherwise, pretty good shape. How's your head doing? I can move it. It's pretty cool. And I still have my wit. Did fail me today, though, where I almost gave away my name to a employee of the last station, which could have been bad. One mistake a day, not that bad of a track record, I think. Hmm. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, wit's not something you had before, so it sounds like you gained some new abilities. Listen, did you want to? Was That's there something was. you wanted to talk about? <laughs> Seems like you've gained some wit since I saw you last. The hell happened? Coon Jong say. Oh, uh, well, you know. Life. Been a long time. I gotta be honest. I want it to be... Strong, I guess, or... Uh, supportive. For the team, but... I didn't really think I'd ever... Just, uh, let's get your back. I mean, not dead. <laughs> Aww, he, like, walks over and, like, kind of, like, starts patting you on the head and kind of, like, wraps his arm around you. Oh, my God. I didn't realize how much I missed this. Listen, I'm not going to be gone long, and once we start climbing again, you better believe I'll be leaving you in the dust with my lightning techniques. Because I've been practicing, too. And oh, really? I think there's even some stuff we could practice together if if you were strong enough to handle it. Hmm. Now I know you're just deflecting, so what you mean to say is you're worried you won't be strong enough to train with me. But I think, you know, while you're climbing, if you really put in the effort, you get there. Hmm. Sounds good, man. We'll see what happens. I gotta head to bed. It's been a long day, so have a good night, little bro. Have a good night, Victor. One more thing. Your arm okay? Oh. <laughs> yeah, just uh, working on some new techniques and I've had some unforeseen consequences, but nothing I can't figure out. Kind of like looks at you. 
Yeah, I do have to step up my game. See you in the morning. See you around. And we have one more. Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, I was just like, he just kind of looks out after okay. Victor leaves. For sure. For sure. We have the one and only Double B. Uh, <clears throat> right now, Brack is by himself in like a sort of meditation room on the last station or in the pod area. And as he's meditating, he's just going over the course of events, thinking about everything that happened and trying to figure out what he could have done better. He hears a voice in his head that just speaks to him like earlier and says, they will betray you just like last time. But you can stop it. I can stop it. Don't give in to your soft side. Feed into the rage. And set me free. And as he continuously hears the voice in his head, Hilt shows up in front of him. No, 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 no. What did I warn you about, Double B? Oh, I'm sorry, BB. You can't give in to him. I told you to avoid the man with blue eyes like the plague. Now you're starting to hear him. And as Brack is starting to notice, and he finally, the thought finally occurs to him, he realizes that Kilda's not really there. And that all this time Kilda's been in his head. And at that point, it sends him in a spiral. And the man with blue eyes surfaces. Temporarily, but not permanently. And he disguises himself as Brad. Sorry? He disguises himself okay, as Brad. I just want to make sure I heard that right. Cool. Yeah. that it? Yeah, that's it. Cool. Uh, okay. So we actually have one more program lined up. We have one more thing that will take place. One more scene that wishes to be played out, however small. A few people have gathered together at the request, at the request of the great Damien Frog. That's me. So, Damien, you've kind of found it a little area just for yourself. Simon and Robin are there, and the Duke of Bones sits down across from you. Ah. Uh -huh. What kind of area are we in, Joe? I'm thinking it's sort of um like the hall like the hallway where like kind of leads into that locked door, you know? That door is kind of open. There's like a hallway that leads down, but you're not actually leaving the ship. Uh, Maybe you're kind of like up against the railing or something, up against the stairs. That's what I have in mind, at least. Duke, how have you been? <laughs> Felt weird today. I don't know yeah. much about this group, but I had to... Uh... For all intents and purposes, I really was the Archduke today, wasn't I? 
Well, I know you didn't expect to be here. That's who I am, but though, right? That you are. That is the reality of your situation. You are alive. So, what do you hope to do with your newfound life? When you talk to me, do you feel like you're talking to... Who are you talking I... to? I've only ever really known the Duke of Bones. Brack is the one who uh, inhabited the the Archduke in that one flashbacky segment that I guess you know nothing about, to be fair. Uh, at this point, nothing surprises me. I might have something that will surprise you more than that. What would that be? Well. You're gonna go back to Train City, no matter what. I am. Nothing I can do to change your mind? Lonnie taught me <laughs> something so important, and I never th thought I could say this. So important that the only thing I know for sure is that if I don't do it, if I don't follow this path, then what she did was for nothing. And there is nothing that I want less. I have to do this. She's passed it on to me, however much I wish she were still here. I see. Well, I wish you good luck, Duke of Bones. Damien, you've been a true friend. Thank you for everything. I appreciate it. And for everything you've done for Hans and Rio Bay, too. I would like to correct you on something. I have not been a true friend. There was no one waiting for you in Train City because... They are dead, and I killed them. I close my eyes, <laughs> and I turn around. Where's the there is nothing line? waiting for you in Train City. This is a list of everyone who perish on that day. When we raided your hideout on Train City, there was a crowd in front of your hideout. I got rid of them. So, even that dream is shattered. I'm afraid so. So, what will you do now? 
He looks at you and holds your gaze. You're wrong. Even if you're Sorry. right, even if you think you're right. Even if every single one of them was killed by you. The Band of Bones is not dead. I think we'd die that easily. On that, I agree. If the Band of Bones is not dead, I couldn't kill them all. I hope you know we can't be friends anymore now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard, you know. His hand bunches up into a fist. If you want to strike me, then go. But I can't die. Not here. He clenches his fist. But then he lets go of his hand, droops down his arm, limp. For what it's worth, I am sorry. He looks back up at the roof. <laughs> I'm not the Archduke anymore. And really, I'm not even the old Duke of Bones that you met at Train City. I don't know who I am, but that's what I want to discover. And I'm going to start by picking up the pieces. He looks at you. Goodbye, Damien Frog. Goodbye, Duke of Bones. It was a good alliance. And if at the end of the road, you decide that what you want is me. I will be there. I will take your challenge. <laughs> you might regret saying that. Not for me. But when Hans and Ryobe find out. Yes, I don't think I'll be very popular. Part of me wants to hit you so bad, but another That's part what of the Duke me of Bones would do. Another part of me remembers. A wise person once told me. And he looks up at the roof and a tear falls down his cheek. That everyone deserves a second chance. I'm choosing not to fight you because of that and that alone.
You're a good man, Duke. A better man than most would say. Better than me. I hope that you find that thing you're looking for. That treasure. Life is worth living. And it's out there. You just have to discover it. It is. The meaning that you give life is what it is. It's a cycle. And as long as you don't give up, you will find it. I'm going to go out there. Farewell, and find Duke my of life. Bones. Sorry? Wait. I'm going to go out there and find my life. But not because you told me to. Because Good. I want to. And if we meet again, well, good luck on your climb. Goodbye, Damien. Goodbye, Duke of Bones. <sighs> Simon, let's go. The needle that he had sheathed yeah thanks guys for coming I mean you didn't have to but of course anything for you we're team bloodstorm we got your back and uh you really killed that many people damn I guess we were there but I forgot about it that's crazy anyway we should head to bed Got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah, bed sounds really good right now. All right. Simon deserved a better card. <laughs> really good, bro. Actual bed. <laughs> wow. <know>. Jeez. <laughs> I think Simon's card is great, but that is was good, beside the but point. It could have been better. Yeah, Let's clarify, you wanted the card to be more powerful. The art was great. Let's yes, exactly. Oh, exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. okay. Exactly. Just making sure. Yeah. Just making sure. You've all made your decision. Uh, can I say something? Yes. Real quick? Uh, so while all of these scenes are taking place, if you were to check on Wu, what you would find is on a random suite on the fourth floor, this man is passed out mm. on the floor mm -hmm. completely naked there's let it snow by dean martin playing in the background <laughs> although it's not dean martin it's a king cover <laughs> okay uh, of let it snow and he's snoring loudly having slept for the first time in like the last wow. 10 or so years wow um and while that's happening you can see the monkeys like eating random food and cake and whatnot and Pinky <laughs> just kind of like pulls the blanket off of the bed and like pulls it over Wu. perfect perfect a beautiful a beautiful finish to that the last thing i'll say is that you spend your time preparing you have another journey ahead of you and there's another part of this journey, another factor at play. Voices are heard talking to each other. You hear a man's voice. Mm-hmm. You're sure. Thank you, Macintosh. Perhaps we treated you rather harshly. Goodbye. And then you hear another voice. Why didn't you fight back against those cloaked people on the platform? A helmet sound is heard and risk everything. There's a silence. 
You don't believe it, do you? The man continues, I felt it again. This time from a team of regulars. No longer just the janitors this time. It was them. They fought our father and lived. <sighs> but how? Because when one crosses blades with him, an indelible mark is left on your soul. And I want to know why. You hear a sword sound being unsheathed. So, draw your blade, sister. Our climb begins now. And when we return in 2023, welcome to 2024. 2024. When we return in 2024, join us for more Towers and Gods. We are very excited right. for the return of the series in 2024. With a new subtitle, too. Yabba dabba. Oh, uh, that was a bit of a doozy. That was a bit of a doozy. I'm not going to lie. That was a lot. But my goodness, what a fun time. What a fun time. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for your time and for, and for being along with us for this series. It's been so much fun being here with all of you. And man, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's been a crazy year. Guys, do you want to say anything before we head off for our break? Y'all got some homework to do. <laughs> yeah? We want to see new memes, new fan art. All of it. The whole nine yards. I'm going to be watching. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> you're going to be you're going to be keeping an eye on that channel. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. Yep. What if it's just one meme the whole time? And the meme reel is just That's going to be very sad. That would be awesome. Yeah, we'll treasure that one though. That's right. Yeah. We'll treasure it. We'll turn it into a whole 10 hour meme room. I said 10 hour, 10 minute <laughs> meme room. Just repeat. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll be 10 minutes. We'll just keep moving it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh man. Anyone else before we before we head off for the break? I do want to actually say one thing really quick. Uh, Thomas has a really cool OC story in our server in the OC thread that I wanted to shout out because I've been reading it and it's super fun. And it's kind of like, uh, if you want to kind of read some kind of spinoff Tower of God story, but in like a sort of more novel form, I just think it's really cool. So I wanted to shout uh, them out there. Okay, anybody else? Any other thoughts? No, just happy holidays to everyone, man. Be safe. Enjoy your time with your families, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Happy Christmas and have a merry new year yes have a merry new year happy holidays everybody it's been such a pleasure we're all tired yes but yeah definitely have a happy holidays and everybody take care whether with loved ones or alone just just make sure you take care and come join us in the new year yeah we'll be back and better than ever we're gonna have some time off and we're gonna come back with a bang so um thanks everybody so so much we'll see you in the new year Thanks for all your support. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for everything. Bye. We love you. And we'll be keeping an eye on those servers. Who is going oh, yeah. to Take care. Bye-bye. I'll also have my, cam my, my old camera back. And hopefully I won't be glitching out as much. That'll be cool. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see in 2024. Bye, everybody. Au revoir.